All right, chat. I need someone. Maybe I need to contact uh, Twitch support. Which, if they're anything like YouTube support, means um, I'm just never gonna hear from them ever. Is this a problem that other streamers are having with OBS disconnecting, or is that on my end? Like, OBS has has been disconnected. That could be on Twitch's end, right? Like, Twitch is just shit the bed on the connection. My ads were lagging, so yeah, if the ads are lagging, something's really bad, yeah. Okay, maybe it was on Twitch's end. Has this been happening lately? The first signs of the apocalypse came when Twitch ads started to lag. Dangarampa would never freeze. Yeah, if this was a 2020 Joe stream, it wouldn't happen. Also, if it was a German stream. Twitch has been kind of funky lately. Maybe all of Twitch's uh, investments were into um, FTX. And now they're feeling the pinch. They just can't keep the hamsters on the wheels. Topical plus two. Thank you very much. That's a bonus plus two. One might even say a plus three. Are you going for 100%? Um, I mean, I'm at 37. I'd like to get to 100, but I don't know if I'm going to get there. Probably going to like whimper out around 88, I guess. Be lucky if that happens. Coffee. Thank you. How's chat? That's okay, we just had an F. Mm. Stream crashed. Hi chat. Missed you. Oh, the lilies. Are you a healthy person? No. <laughs> I had KFC for breakfast. <laughs> Are you fond of the game so far? Oh, Miss Joseph, are you fond of the game? Oh, I can't watch it. Okay. It's a little too um, too bloody, I think, for the for the little ones. Leo and Finn were watching part of it back yesterday with me, and they seemed okay with it. I don't know about Kate though. Like... Yeah, Kate, Kate for sure. I don't know. Is this? I think that Dark Souls is spookier than this. This is gorier though. I don't know. I don't know. This is your birthday? Yesterday was my birthday. I turned 37. Three more till 40. Literally kind people in half. Yeah, I didn't show them any of that. I don't know the game either, so it's like... I don't know what to expect to, to turn it off or change it. You're Germa age. Is Germa... Germa's older? Age of Germa. And also Conan. Jeremy's 37. Wow. Dude looks younger than I am. Did you watch yesterday's Crack in the Cryptic? I did. Thank you very much, uh, whoever did that. I didn't catch the name. I only had time to listen to it once. Very nice surprise. I got a, I got a happy birthday from, from Simon. I need to leave a comment on the video. Felt, uh, felt, uh, Simon is so wholesome, and I'm so not. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, he, he, he'll make a mistake in his Sudoku, and he'll be like, oh, bobbins. I make a mistake in the game, and I'm like, shit, fuck, motherfucker, god, fucking damn it, oh, my fucking god, like, <laughs> So not exactly a, a match made in uh, in Vanaheim, but you know it's uh, it's all right. Anyway, thank you for the coffee, though. Yeah. See you later. Congratulations on on getting Simon to say Monkey Town.
Happy birthday. Can't believe it's acceptable to play weave games at your age. It's not acceptable at any age, so who cares? German is old for his primary audience being 20 year olds. I think your audience schools skews older. Do you think so? Can I find that out on Twitch? Is there an age thing on Twitch? Germa's audience skews gayer. Even gayer than my audience? I don't believe you. Joe, I missed the last 40 minutes or so. Can you give a summary so I can watch your live? We fought a wolf. Is uh, the person who sent in to crack the cryptic in chat? Because I just want to say thank you. Was it the same username? Thank you for doing that. It was a nice surprise. Dude, Joe, Andy, Lamayo, yeah. Now a bunch of people are going to say it was me. It's me. It's me, boy. I'm the PS5 talking to you. Well, yes, he came this way. Let's find another way up. What did you do? At the house. The spell you saw me do in Fenrir died. I didn't know it then. But I accidentally put his soul into my knife. Souls are powerful, so I thought maybe Fenrir's could... Shane. Just, just, uh, Fimble Winter things. Just accidentally putting souls in things. Just Fimble Winter things. It's nature. Yeah. Let's see if it took. It is not the form of the thing. It's the nature of the thing. Wait, where are we going? Oh, we're going- Oh, it go down! Oh. Oh, damn, I'm surprised. Okay. Can't wait for him to accidentally put Kratos' soul in a giant marble stand for that. Yeah, that is almost certainly what's going to happen. Kratos is going to die, and then he's going to take a soul, and then he's going to put his soul in a replica of Kratos. That was just conveniently supplied. Here you go. Brock and Sindri made it made a made a, a an exact copy. It's metal on the underside, but you know it's got a it's got a when flesh coating. Before Freya attacked, you said you needed to protect me. Why? I saw a prophecy. You were in my arms. Wait, we're doing this like in a as we're walking between a place conversation? Not even okay, alright. Dead. I saw it too. In Jotunheim. What? You knew? That's why you've been training me so hard. One day you will have to survive without me. Not gonna happen. I won't let it. I won't. All journeys come to an end. Not ours. Not like that. And the AI AI generator decided that that final final like reveal of the secrets would be done on a fucking cliff in Helheim, not even in a cutscene. And the good boys and girls of Santa Monica were like, fuck it, let's just roll with it. The big holy shit conclusion of the first game.
okay? Sorry, I hurt you. It's over now. I promise. Hey, Gatsby. Fen? Are you? Man, this really is Marvel shit. Not even the dog can stay dead. Big Last Guardian vibes. We did it. How is this possible? It's giant magic. Giant stuff. I've been learning things. Giant Where? Stars. No. This has nothing to do with that. More secrets. No, I promise. When that someone's trusting me to keep, like you kept your promise to mom. Wow, that took days to say. When you trust me. You also let him out, though. Oh, Fernier just knows how to do that. Okay, cool. It is done. We should inform the others. Decide our next move. So, when the Nords told you Heimdall was gonna try and kill me... So <laughs> Let me translate it. So I'm opening portals to other dimensions and realms. I guess that's something I do now. <laughs> Isn't it? It is. <laughs> I a jerk, but... That's not who you are anymore, right? A god killer? You don't want war. <laughs> no, but I will do what it takes to keep you safe. Where are we going? <laughs> Sorry, I made myself laugh. <laughs> Here? Okay. Oh, I hear a raven. So what was the what was up with Atreus in 2018 when he wasn't himself? Was it ever explained? Um, according to a million angry YouTube comments, uh, that's just something that happened. Oh, we missed this one when we were here. Just slightly ambiguous um, writing that I was looking too much into, I guess. Okay, like... Was it further there? Oh, there it is, okay. Spear, good idea, chatter. Yay! Alright. Delightfully devilish chatter. Oh, god damn it. I'm 
I'm talking about the moment in hell when he said, I, I don't remember doing that. It wasn't me. Yeah, apparently that was just ambiguous kind of writing that I was looking too much into, according to a bunch of people in chat. I was reading the YouTube comments on the God of War, um, on the God of War video uh, last night, and I came across a banger that said, quite condescendingly, like, you should have done more research about this. Like, how do you, how did you not know about the comic explaining how he got to uh, Midgard? And then someone replied saying it. This video came out three years before the comic did, and I was like, I didn't know that. I'm real. I'm like, yeah, you tell him, you tell him. All right, was this? Is this just to get the bird? That happened with Darkest Dungeon too, where a, I had a bunch of people say like, oh no, you're wrong about all this shit, and it was like, yeah, this was all patched in after the video. My guess is so awesome. Sushi, tell him. Sushi, tell him. Great, it's open. Maybe we can use the sigils to freeze the gear up there. I like these puzzles. Alka. They both, have to, they both have to be bigger, right? There you go. Uh oh. Yay! Father, if you can't trust the faith, why do you care what they say? When it comes to your life, I can take no chances. Hollow video has really exposed me how boring some games can be when they don't give you enough movement combat tools at the beginning. Yeah, it's, it's a problem with pacing. You don't want to overwhelm, but also you want to give options. Um, some people are kind of funny about that too, you know. Oh, it's not Metroidvania if you start if you don't start off with literally nothing. It's like, okay, well, why aren't you upset about having an attack and a jump then? <laughs> you know? <laughs> there's, there's already a concession that you've made. Like, Ori doesn't even start out with an attack. You have to earn your attack. You can only just run and jump. Um, I think you can climb in that one too, though, can't you? Like, Super Metroid, you can you can wall jump at the beginning. It's really hard to do. It's, it's always hard to do, though. I don't know if this comes across as condescending, but you have a habit of calling people condescending. Well, usually when I'm talking about bad YouTube comments like that, they are condescending. So it is an accurate description. People are very, very, very condescending in, uh, ooh, is that the bird? Um, when it comes to disagreeing on YouTube. Condescending is the polite way of me saying that they're being an asshole. You should wait with Witcher 3 video until they release that comic in the future that explains things. Hey, they're, they're just releasing the, uh, the, the next gen upgrade. So, you know. All my footage is now out of date. Have to re-record all that again now. Can't be helped. Look, Okay, time for another side quest.
because there's six stairs to close and uh, not to expect thanks. They shouldn't have been open in the first place. She is not wrong. No! Joe proof. More side quest side quest checklists to do. By the way, just wanted to say you've really helped me in learning and bettering English. Been watching you since I was 14. I'm 19 now. I'm sure I'm not the only one. That's terrifying. I can barely speak English. Glad to have helped, though. Great English. I have my moments of being somewhat well-spoken, I think, but... I often have trouble communicating. This is a weird question, but did you actually like the Danganronpa games? I watched all the VODs and I still can't tell if you actually like them or hate them. Well, why would I want to ruin the mystery now? I like them. I had a good time. For about half of it, I guess. The other half. It was okay. The Mystic Gateway got buried. I have it. Oh, we're right back to the beginning then. Okay. Owl Seminium Files when? Uh, it's on the list. We're going to do it eventually. Sometime in 2023, I'm guessing. Anyone else want to know how Atreus got here when... Garm, like, took Kratos in his mouth and just, like, hopped across the whole entire map. And then this, the second Kratos gets sp sped out, Atreus is just there next to him. There's a comic for it? Okay. Maybe he hookshot onto the wolf's tail or something? What's wrong? I have been falling back into my old ways. Angry. Distrustful. With you. Now and for. Without you, I got reckless, overconfident, made stupid mistakes. I don't know why I thought I could do this alone. You were right. No. On our journey together. You have grown into a warrior, worthy of your namesake. Ah. I was the one who was not ready. You don't have to be who you were just because I'm not there. Let's make a promise. I'll listen for your voice in my head when you're not there to guide me. And you do the same. All right? I need 
I know you'll be okay without me. Atreus. I am sorry. Don't be sorry, Father. Be better. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Let's go home. Oh, so proud. So proud. Where's the plot twist that Kratos has actually been dead the whole game? Nothing is written. That can't be unwritten. Remember? We shouldn't let prophecy define our choices. Then we will make our own destiny. Thor didn't bring him back to life. I noticed this game has a tendency of citing character lines for 2018 game back, back at them. Yeah, it's Marvel shit. Anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Looks like she moved in while I was away. You call her mom now. Her hatred back to Odin. She recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. So, um, restating lines from, that have previously been said in a story, or in, like, a previous part of the story, um, is undoubtedly cheesy, but... Sometimes cheese works. Okay? Like, also a line from the Witcher 3 script. Sometimes cheese works. Like, it really does. And I like it. I don't always like it. But... I, I liked it there. I, I will find I will have as a general rule of thumb that the more time that has passed since the line has been restated for, from its original um, uh, statement, the better. Like it was way more cheesy when Kratos said the the form nature line back at Brock like within five seconds of Brock initially stating it. You know, it was way more cheesy there, and it still worked. It was like yeah, it's okay, but like this one, there was um a long time passed. I like it. Most important thing is it comes up naturally in dialogue. This is also true. Chat making excellent points today. I'm older and wiser now. I see the wisdom of chat. I see the wisdom of the masses. Wait, Mimir might have lines for this. Oh, he's not coming anyway. Okay, cool. back how did it go we should trouble us no further well that's a bloody relief so you put down old garm did you not exactly yeah sort of atreus your decision to go to asgard after all he's put us through i'll never understand it but i hope you at least came back with something we can use whoa i hope so too the whole Freya. On, let me show you what odin's up to Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything. Is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh. Oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Well, so, okay, fine. No. Oh, he was being passive aggressive. Wrong okay. In here. This mask is no fraud. 
Giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. Is that the Brotherhood book? But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? No. We will only write our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. Makes sense. Yeah, okay. We will join our when we can. We need to go to Muselheim and do those challenges, boy. Blow off some steam. Father, I'm gonna study my notes on the mask. See if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone. I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sandry? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations mm. I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. Yet I reached for a shield oh, instead God damn. of a sword. You were right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tia. I believe you just might. We picking them up or what? I'm just gonna keep working on this till you're ready to head out. Do you think they ever strapped Mimir to the axe and then like threw it and recalled for a bit? That sounds like it could be fun. Ah, much better. Care to join me, Kratos? Have a seat, think about your breathing, try and find stillness in your mind? No. Brother, before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. Yeah, we need to go find some more berserker things. Let me upgrade our axe. <laughs> can't stand to see it looking like that. You are well. Take more than a port full of bone shawn stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention. I was mauled by a bear. Nudged, more like it. After all this time, noise still a beaut. Not nice.
Why does it increase your luck? Wait, hold on. Is it are the Is it just stats and increases your level? It doesn't increase the damage of the weapons? Is that true? Oh. I like these new shields. It's neat. Read description now, I'm okay. Midgard's Virtue, we need one more of these and then we have, eh, I'm probably not gonna use that. Status afflicted enemies, remedy the Bifrost, resources. Okay. Looks good. We don't have the other Niflheim one. Jotunheim's virtue. Uh, so what's just the, what's the one that we just get the best stats from right now? We don't have enough cooldown for that one. Gain a burst of speed and travel and increase distance when evading. Ooh, that sounds really good. Wrath's activation. We're not using Wrath, though. We're using Fury. Okay, we need to increase our cooldown, and then we can use Ember of Illusion. Do, 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 do. What if we took off these one? Oh, that gives us cooldown 12. Okay. I don't think there's a cooldown 21. No. Are we even using this? Increase stun in death based on... Yeah, we are using that. Okay. Um, let's just not put any on just to trigger chat. Okay, let's go and see if we can do some shit. Hey, wait. We're with you. Joe, how's your birthday? Pretty great. Had a good day. Wish I waited until I had all six now. The Hound of Hell is no longer a threat. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Nepo weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garn episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. I did not know this. You are being polite, of course. My demeanor was impudent, borderline cruel. Surely this was a source of some discomfort for you. No. My conversational wounds run deep then, and you would hide the scars. I swear, Master Kratos, I will make it up to you someday. Until we meet again. No reward for the three worms? Do, do you not understand when the conversation is over? No. Master Kratos, this feels very uncharacteristic of you, but if you enjoy the pretty chimes that much, I will allow you to indulge. What kind of cake did you have? We had ice cream cake. That's usually the kind of cake that we get. It's pretty good. Alright, we can go to Vanaheim and we can go see Freya and Freya. Or we can go to Muselheim. Uh, I don't think we found enough Eyes of Odin to uh, open any new chests, I don't think. But we could go and we can knock a bunch more and see. I kind of want to go to Muselheim and then I want to go back to Midgard with, um, with uh, Atreus. 
We could also go back to Alfheim because now we have the spear. We can get wherever we want to go. Which armpit of Muspelheim that seed leads to, huh? Mamir, what else do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. Muspelheim. Feels like I was just here. Something Odin put you up to? Yeah. Company's better this time, though. <gasps> you guys ready for the Elden Ring versus this game wars uh, soon to come? I was, I've been thinking about that, and I think in the Ragnarok video, I'm gonna just, like, shower mostly praise on it. Um, and then after that just champion Elden Ring as the better game between the two, just to piss the most people off as I possibly can. Here to get rowdy, huh? Figured you wouldn't be able to turn down having another crack at these combat trials. It's true, it's true. Right. This is Surtur's Gauntlet. Pretty sure that's Ash Battle. I think it's success of calling it perfect and game of the decade, but I do think it's a 10 out of 10 and one of the best games ever made. This game, it does everything that made the previous game better and corrected all the major flaws and negative criticism the game received. Did it though? Did it though? Did it? It is better in some ways. And it is a great game, so far. I'm very much enjoying it. And there's only been one section that I thought was, like, on the border of being bad. And even then, it wasn't really like, oh, this is god-awful. It's just kind of like I'm a little bored. But, eh. Alright, time, time to embarrass myself. Which challenge do you want to try? Defeat all enemies within the time limit. Warm up. Nah, we don't warm up. Here they come. Speed up, left flank. Oh no, they're on the ice. Wait, what? Nasty hit! Go away, brother! Watch out! Left side! Get exposed! 
Oh no, I died. There was a knock-in. Okay. So I like that you have to switch to different weapons to, to knock the different element shields off, and that's that's pretty neat. Any of these challengers catch your eye? Missed again. Missed again. Oh, I didn't miss. Nice. fun though but I suck I thought that would stun which challenge do you want to try Maybe did. Oh, I missed one? Come <laughs> on. 
Alright, pretty tough, pretty tough. Look, there's a chest. Not gonna lie, pretty tough. Very fun though, but pretty tough. Are you liking the spear more than accent? Yeah, I like the uh, the spears move set quite a lot. But um, Axe has frosted up, so. Fun. This place is pretty big, though. I wonder if there are other arenas. I might go back to using the axe more after I, you know, done with the honeymoon period with the spear. Can you use the, the give the new rage ability another go? You only use the spear with it. I'll use it. Um, I'll go back to it when we get to the next like side area, and we'll see. But for now, I would just want to do a couple of these challenges and see how they go. Are these balanced to do right now or flawless? Avoid taking damage. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. God damn it. Little too late on the block. Little too late on the block. All right, this is going to be tough. I don't want to play super conservatively, though. What are you guys talking about? Joe, how far are you in the... St how far in are we story-wise? I don't know. It seems like we're going to enter the third act soon, though, or the last act. Talking about skippable, skippable cutscenes, yeah, cutscenes should always be skippable in games because um, the whole focus of game of games is the gameplay. Like, if you want to make a movie, go make a movie. They should always be skippable, so when you want to play the game again for the gameplay. Like, I would be willing to concede that the first time you play through a game, you shouldn't be able to skip the cutscenes, but then, uh, just, like, why not just have it as an option, because what if someone, like, is playing the game on a different system, they've already played the game before, and they just want to go through it for the gameplay, which the gameplay should be a, a big, fun part of your game. If you're making a very uh, story-focused game, that the gameplay is just kind of there as filler, then I guess that's, I guess that's fine. Like, no one's going to replay your game um, for the gameplay sequences in that case, but... Then I'd say, why the fuck are you making a game then? Or if the game crashes, yeah, that's true. I miss.
Sorry, Master. I must go all out just this once. Watch no out. weapon. Oh, oh no! Fucking hell! You can always come back later. Dodging feels like a trap, man. You always keep them in front of you, always have your shield. Like, if you dodge, it's like you might just get hit with a follow up. Here we go. Not ready for sure. You can skip a lot of the combat by lowering the difficulty. Now this is Elden Ring defense. It's an option, why aren't you using it? Only got yourself to blame. She's in it up. We're cheesing. Still almost got hit. Oh, where'd you come from? Alright, is there a mimic anywhere? Oh god damn it, I can't I can't parry this guy for save my life. Alright, last phase, here we go. You're fucking kidding me! Alright, where's the other guys? Where are the other guys? I don't want to get like hit in the back as I'm running around fighting this guy. There he is. All right, where's the other one? You're up there. All right, here we go. 
Time to die instantly. He's on boy. Yay! Alright, I won like a bitch, but at least I won. God damn. That was a lot of them. Divine Ashes. Alright, so those are the only two that are here. Okay. Dark Souls 2 is better than this game, we agree, right? No, not even a little bit. No, no, no. It's a fiction. No. Oh, by the way, there's not going to be a stream tomorrow. Because of that comment that I just read. No, there's no stream tomorrow, but there will be a stream on, uh, there'll be a stream on Thursday. If there's going to be a stream tomorrow, it can only be like three hours, so it's just not worth it, I think. So we're going to take tomorrow off, but we're going to stream on Thursday. And we're going to start even earlier than we did today, because we're going to start... We're going to stop earlier. We have to stop at, like, I think 4 p.m. my time, so 3 p.m. Eastern. Um, so we're going to start around 10 a.m. Eastern, I think. Or 10, 10 a.m. my time. I don't know. We'll see. I'll start at some point, but we're going to have an early stop on Thursday. What do you know of the trials? Oh, just your usual Muspelheim challenges of violence and slaughter. Rumor was it's Surter's way of honing his blades. But I think he's just as much a sucker for blood sport as the rest of us. Okay. So what's in here? This seems very difficult to get. I want it. I want to know. Maybe it's going to be two used condoms. Maybe even four shillings. This is the one we just did, right? Or does it just look like the same room? I'm 99% sure this is the one we just did. Yeah, this is the one we just did. Okay. Ring out challenge. Opponents rapidly regenerate from any damage. Throw orbs into the realm tear to close it before the time runs out. What? Alright. Ring out challenge. I'll watch your back. Watch your right. it's, it's, it's going well. It's going well. Not that grim day, but it poisons us all. Deserved. Alright, I don't think that the axe is the best one to do this. I think maybe it's going to be the blades? The blades, maybe? Let us begin. 
Man, the ranged, like, really dark blobs of poison are really fucking annoying in this game for some reason. Like, the, ra the ranged spitters in every single encounter just been obnoxious as fuck. Any of these challengers catch your eye? <laughs> Yeah, they'll do it. On your left. No back grim day before it poisons us all. What? Oh, right there. Holy shit, I couldn't see. Can the chain? Oh. Okay. Get out of here. Get out. Streamer cheese. What do you mean cheese is the fire? That's what you're supposed to do. That's the only way you can kill him is knocking off them. What am I supposed to do? Just not knock him off the fucking the cliff? Now do that without taking damage? No. Was it a one guy or a two piece? That's really fun. Yeah, I remember that one being one of my favorites in the 2018 as well. Knocking them off is fun. We did it.
Throw orbs into the realm tier to close it before the timer runs out. All right. I'll watch your back. All right, where are these orbs I keep hearing so much about? Atreus. Looks like you need to toss those full orbs into the void. Explain how. What orbs? Oh, because I was throwing them in. All right. Oh, there's a time limit. Oh, no. Why is it only three? Oh, did I miss one? Oh shit, I suck. Right, let's try again. Let's do this. Interesting. Looks like you need to toss those soul orbs into the void. Okay, these enemies are kind of annoying at how relentlessly they attack even after you dodge or block away. I'm not enjoying these actually. There's an enemy in Dark Souls that is the same thing where it's just like, I'm just going to run at you and I'm just going to keep attacking no matter what. I was, I'm feeling pretty good. I pulled my back last night, but it's feeling a lot better right now. Interesting. Looks like you need to toss those soul orbs into the void. Here it comes! to move! <laughs> I always think this music sounds like Stranger Things or something. It's reminding me of something really, really vividly. I can't place it. Alright, we did it. Oh, it's- there's more! Oh, shit! That's not cricket. Bobbins! 
I didn't even save anything for the swim back. This is not the future, I agree. Did they despawn? Oh shit, it was a red attack. Okay, still, like, you're making me throw while also, like, have to deal with attacks coming off screen. I think the camera's laying this down, although it is a cool idea and I like it. Maybe I'm just bad at it. Maybe I need to just, like, get good and I'll enjoy this. But just, it's kind of frustrating to have your... With the time limit, too. Maybe the time limit's the problem. Fancy a warm -up before making your choice. It's almost like it's a challenge. Well, everything in a game is a challenge, but it doesn't mean that it's always a good challenge. <laughs> Looks like you need to toss those soul orbs into the void. Break it down! Find you incoming! Find you incoming! Oh, there is a time limit on them, okay. Now nah, we're done. We must learn from this. Okay, so I can't I can't clear out a whole wave and then throw. I have to be throwing while and clearing out the waves, which again is just gonna exacerbate the issue of of the camera and these kind of enemies having just like, oh I hit you once and then I'm just gonna chain you three more fucking times after that. Unless the game deigns to let you hit block during the uh, during it. I wonder if you can only deflect when um when you get stuck in a in a combo. Anyone else think that the Stranger Things Season 4 was the best one yet? Better every season, Stranger Things. Better every season. Oh! 
Pick it up. Pick it. Oh, it's a spear. Oh shit. Also a spear. What the hell was that? I was blocking. And he was doing a sh- I must have double tapped. Okay, I feel like I'm not gonna use the spear because I'm actually really am legit like oh yeah that's an orb to pick up like so I'm I'm not gonna use the spear. I'm gonna use axe or uh or blades here only. Let us begin. The orbs despawn, yeah. Do you just blow up the orb in my hand? It's gone. No, oh, I hit it. Okay, good. No. Alright, this is nuts, man. Like, the camera is just fighting against me so hard. What challenge will it be today? <laughs> Looks like you need to toss those full orbs into the void. Frank is gone! Another 
Another drugger. Where's my orb? Where's my orb? I knock him in the pit, I get an orb. That's how it's worked for the other ones. Where's my orb? Wow, stolen. Fucking robbed. Where's my orb? Time should freeze for the executions. Except, but yeah, for real. Okay, hold on. I knock him in there. I did not knock him in there. I did knock him in there. Okay, so he died, and then the orb appeared and then bounced into the lava. Into the void. Watch out! I didn't pick it up. Cause Swore just picked that up. Is there a button I'm pressing that drops it and I don't know about it? If I look shield, if I block while I'm holding it, do I lose it? See, this time I got an orb. I got this one. I'm pondering the orb. 
where the fuck that orb went. You mother- Okay, I got- I got another one. Oh, for fuck's sake! Alright, give me my orb. No, for real, if you put him in the middle one, you don't get an orb. No orb for middle one. one there. Trolley ledge. <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Oh no! Oh, ripped that orb. Oh, it came back! Alright. Hooray! 
Round three? Thank God. That was really hard. First try. This is the future, yeah. Why doesn't the timer stop during glory kills? Right? I know, right? That looked like it sucked. Mm, I mean, it kind of did because of the camera. And, like, I feel like the enemy choice is what made it suck. Because they have enemies that are, like, kind of like, oh, there's an enemy behind you. And there's a red arrow on the on the side of your screen saying, look, there's an attack coming. And you're like, okay, well, what could it be? Well, actually, it's those enemies that will fucking just jump into the air, do a red circle in midair, and then grab onto you. And then you have to spam circle. And it's like, okay, cool. Nice enemy choice there. Ooh, all right. Um, you know what? Let's let's actual let's let's game, let's game. Let's go here. There's a there's a hook shot thing. Let's put the death from above on. We're gaming. Kill the elite while keeping the population under the limit. Oh no! Keep the keep enemies out of the rings until time expires. <laughs> Oh no, I remember these. Oh, I remember that one being really hard. Okay. Let's do this. Keep kill the elite. Where's the elite? There's the elite. All right. This is not over. Oh, he was dead though. Come on. This is not in the future. Been watching your Persona VODs. Any interest in playing 1 and 3? 1 through 3? Well, I've already played uh, 2 and 3. I need to play the first one now. But yeah, we'll do that eventually. Him properly there didn't wasn't there a guy with like a with a red three execution thing and then like when I turn around he was gone but it didn't take him away from the death counter or the population counter what challenge will it be today Maybe he jumped up onto the wall? Ah! Oh. 
All right. You didn't grab him in time and he had some help. I thought he died from, from like just AOE around me. That's why. Because when I turned around, he was gone. He must have jumped on the wall. Which challenge will it be today? Yeah, we're not doing this in time. Oh, we died. Okay, cool. I don't even know what the fuck happened there. Um, I don't know if this is like ridiculously hard chat or if I just am playing like shit today. I don't know. But this feels very, very difficult to me. To, I was gonna block. Fuck. What challenge will it be today? Oh man, not even close. Not even close. I feel like my rune attacks, my rune attacks are doing like next to no damage too. I guess my rune is only 117, but like, um, it's uh, like it's upgraded. Like this one is doing next to no no damage, and it's like, it's level three. Maybe I should upgrade the other ones to level three too. I don't really like this one is the problem. I don't like either of these. It's all right, I guess. Maybe I should upgrade them. I like this one. This one's pretty good. So that increases frost, but doesn't really increase damage all that much. Try punching. Yeah, but punching feels cheesy. Like punching is so overpowered right now because of the punching armor. I could go put a new set on, but like I kind of wanted to do this and then upgrade my armor. Let's upgrade them. Fuck it.
We don't have a heavy running attack for the spear. Um, do we want this one or the blaze one? I think this one. I like this one quite a bit, actually. This one's fun. Thrust of a thousand soldiers. Oh, I might like that one better. Oh, shit. Oh, that one might be better. Oh, no. What have I done? Oh, well, we're committed. Hey, come back into the writer talk. How can you mit mitigate just completely sinking into world building details and not sound any actual story? Well, some some fantasy writers don't. The world is the story. Um, try and keep it focused on the characters and the plot rather than the setting as much as you possibly can. But if you find it really interesting to focus on the world and everything, then you know that's not the worst thing in the world if that's what you want your story to be. I won't like it, but like. No one likes everything. Axe hits and restore health, but inc incoming damage is increased. That sounds fun. Alright, alright. We upgraded our runic attacks, chat. Now it's going to go smooth sailing from now on, right? Hope you're ready, brother. Smooth sailing. Wow, look at the difference. It's clinging to the wall. You gotta knock it down. Find you. It's coming. I don't see one to kill. This is not the end. All right, we did it. He died. I saw him die. I feel like I don't have the damage for this. I can't kill one of the little shits fast enough. Spear is really good when you extract the elements like poison. Yeah, I was trying to do the extract thing earlier on some of the other fights, and it's kind of tricky to get off sometimes when there's a lot of enemies around. Let's see if I can get one off right at the start. Man, the two of them were so low health there, I thought I could go over and kill them, and I couldn't. Just doing so little fucking damage. I got cornered as well, too. Yeah! 
Still not dead. Alright, round two. No, we did it. Yay. Alright, yay. Kind of an anti-climax there. Very tricky. Seems there was a hard cat. Was there? Cause, cause I wasn't focusing on killing the little ones that much. Cause I didn't think there was a hard cat. I should experiment with that. Actually, I should have tried just killing the little ones. Cause my thought was, okay, it seems like they're gonna co continue to respawn forever. So try and keep a bunch at low health, and when it goes over, let the timer tick down, and then kill them. But maybe there was like a, a cap of how many could spawn. I don't know. This place. Think there could be one more arena? Waste armor. Oh, we're getting level six armor from here. Do we have something we can put on right now? Girdle increases the gain rate of permafrost emulation and maelstrom skill. Oh, I like those. I like I like getting those um those up. I don't use uh L, L triangle though. Level six. Level, oh, nice. We already have level six on. Soldier guard of undying pyres. When permafrost emulation and maelstrom, uh, slowly charge. Curse gains shield that prevents the first to take in from resetting the gauge. Oh. Oh, that's kind of nice. That's kind of nice. Let's put that on. All right. That's kind of cool. All right. So we got level six armor now. So what's preventing us from having level six uh, level? Shields level six. The blades? The blades and the weapons? Damn. Ugly ass armor. No, you. Keep enemies out of the rings until the time expires. All right. Here we go again. Both of them? <gasps> nice, that was a waste. Behind you! Let's go! You're on 
What? Okay, axe only. Axe only. I guess Noner Games was an unusual treat stream wise, almost just like Cage Mist. This game plays Resident Sleeper. I listen to Monkton Tales instead. Then fuck off then. <laughs> this is what we're doing. I'm streaming my playthrough. Sometimes I'm gonna play a game. Here we go again. Instead of reading a novel. Okay, so I can't let the bar get the full. Is that what's going on? Yeah, seems like it. Okay, I can't let the bar get full. Oh, he followed. It follows. All right, we did it. All right, it is. Don't let the bar pull up then. Okay, all right, that's not too bad, but still kind of a little counterintuitive, I think. Yeah, it deserves. Completely off kilter there. Oh. All right, I think we can do it. Here we go again. I have not read any Brandon Sanderson. Sorry, not yet. One day I will. I don't listen to music as such, but I'd like to. This isn't going well. Did you ever get around to the new Porcupine Tree album? I have not, no. I listened to the single that they released uh, a while before it came out, um, and I liked it. I didn't love it, but I liked it. Was it good? Oh, you fucking stealth ogre. Stealth ogre. Did it really feel like an insult to tell me the fight? It, it felt a little bit like an insult, yeah. I felt like you're wasting everyone's time by streaming this game. I'd rather hear Lint Moncton stories. Because wh wh why else are you going to say it? 
Are you criticizing the game? This stream is boring. So. Dance in another way for me, monkey. Is how it came across to me. Favorite band? My favorite band overall of all time is probably Tool. My favorite band currently is Amazing Devil. I really like Porcupine Tree. I'm sorry the Tool is my favorite band. <laughs> The first band I ever really liked as a teenager was Linkin Park, though, so that might be a favorite in another way. Favorite power tool? The, the drill. Man, we're just taking so much damage. Should have blocked. Should have blocked. I've become so numb. I, I'm a hybrid theory head. I was in on the ground floor. Paper Cut is my favorite Linkin Park song, I think. I really like Paper Cut. I like how it changes at the end. I'm ready. Okay, maybe I should use some plunging attacks more. They seem really strong. How did that not hit you? On your right! Oh no! Oh, what the fuck? I know you could do that. Oh, where did you come from? With you is Hybrid Theory's best song. That is a, another banger. I like With You, yeah. Ready yourself. Why don't you get a res Resurrection Stone? Should help. No, first time? Oh! 
Never thought Tool Lincoln Park would be talked of here. Love your music. Oh, do you really? Most people don't like that piece of music. I also like Taylor Swift. Does that ruin it for you? I don't love Taylor Swift, though. I'm not sitting around listening to Taylor Swift, like, all the time. Uh, the band I've been listening to the most lately has been The Killers, actually. I really like The Killers. You motherfucker. Killers are also pretty cool, so true. Oh, there's another circle. It's a perfect circle. I also like a perfect circle. I also like Pucifer because I'm a big Maynard head. How do I get over there? How do I get over there? Alright, that was insane. I feel like I'm doing something wrong with the game. I feel like my damage is just way too low. That's all the arena's taken care of, I guess. Let's see if we change something. This feels like doing like all of Hollow Knight with only like one nail upgrade. This is what it feels like right now. Like honestly, it feels like I'm doing like maybe a third to a half of the amount of damage that I should be doing. I think I'm under all. Maybe I'm a, I level appropriate here, but maybe I'm not gear appropriate. I don't know. Small flame that has no source. The sword wasn't there before, was it? Okay, upgrade the the blades. It seems fine. It doesn't seem fine to me. It could be that some moves do more damage than others, and I'm focusing on filler moves. Like, it could be that pressing R1 is just a complete waste of time, and it's just R2 and charge attacks and like running charge attacks and frost it up and everything is what you're supposed to be doing. And R1 is just like filler bullshit, you know. Or I could be gearing, um, gearing poorly. Coming up. Okay, so I can upgrade. What ones am I using? Spinning chaos and basically we don't really use that that much. Increases the damage of your blades ruining attacks when the emulation skill is fully. Eh. When does that happen though? 
Let's just upgrade the ones we're using now. Successful axe range attacks now generate charge of the permafrost skill with successful proficient throws generating even more. Um, I kind of like the healing on that, but the extra damage, not so much. And the healing is probably very minor, I'm guessing. However, I don't even know what S Serpent Snare is, so fuck it. Um, maybe we should switch over to this one and see how effective the healing is. Joe does not engage with the RPG systems of an RPG and then complains that he does no damage in many such cases. I don't think there's many such cases. I am not really engaging with it a lot, but I am upgrading my shit as I go. Hold heavy as serpent? Oh, well I do that all the time and I'm not seeing any fucking health bursts. Do you not get them in here? Hello, my dude. I just finished the entirety of your Persona 5 playthrough. Oh, damn. Congratulations. I wanted to thank you for an entertaining 150-something hours. Cheers. Oh, you're very welcome. Glad you enjoyed it. It's tiny hell. Oh, it just doesn't happen that much. Okay. Maybe we should go with this one then and see what, what this feels like. But if it sucks, then I've just wasted... Uh, I've just put resources in for nothing. I'm guessing the increased damage is, is ridiculous. Let's try it. This could be fun. And what one do we want? Spear attacks against Sonic afflicted enemies deal bonus damage and builds bonus Maelstrom skill charge. Ah, oh, so I can do extra damage to people in chat. Okay. Spear attacks against Burning or Frost. Okay, we definitely want to switch that because we never really do that. Uh, moderate strength, hot plate lunge, and fellow spider skills, apply more stun. Moderate strength, surgery, ground, stuff, lower. Let's go with that one. It's craftable. You have no luck stat, so RNG is very against you. Yeah, okay, that's true. Yeah, that's a good point. So maybe a lot of these things don't aren't good until you get high-end gear and you can really boost your luck up to make the most of it. Okay, that makes sense. Like, in a shit way. But, yeah. Everyone in chat is saying L1 triangle is good. Have you tried that yet? No, I keep forgetting that I can do that. Is that, like, another rage mode? Maybe I should be doing that more. Your armor is entirely dedicated to L1 triangle. What? Ready when you are. No? That's what those- Permafrost is, um, is an, a thing where you are, uh, gaining damage the more you hit without taking- without taking damage. And then at the top you can hit L- L1 triangle to, like, unleash it in a way, but that's not what this is. This is just, like, it's just gaining that. Uh, they interact, but it's not entirely devoted. Divine Ashes. That's a lot of Divine Ashes. I can only upgrade these once? Give it a shot and see if we are wrong. Wait, wait, wait. What are you? What are you guys wrong about? Are you? Are you saying like you might be wrong about L1 triangle being badass? Because I'm not. I'm not disputing that. I'm disputing that this armor set is entirely devoted to L1 triangle, which just isn't true. Just from reading, it's almost always worth it to pop it. Though I don't. I don't dispute that. I haven't tried it. It's probably baller as fuck, as the kids say. I just haven't done it. Um, I kind of don't want to use all of my Divine Ashes to upgrade and piece of armor. Fuck. 
but I'm doing it. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. Okay, now we need purified crystalline and smoldering embers. All right. That ought to last you a little while. Uh, hold on, actually. Can I get to level six? Because I'd like to get to level six if possible. No. What rond are we using? Rond of Aggravation. Yeah, see, like, high luck chance again. Maybe we should switch this to, like, the parry one. I don't know if that's even good or not, though, to be honest. Eh, whatever. Parry one is actually good. Yeah, that's why I'm afraid. I'm afraid it's too good, and then I'm gonna rely on the parry increased parry window. So you didn't want anything. And then when I play the game again on Gimme God of War mode, I'm gonna be like, oh shit, I learned all the parry timings with that fucking parry crutch. Uh, let's see what this is. I don't think we're gonna do it, but we're gonna go see what it is. I think we've been here for long enough. I achieve what I set out to do. I thought we did them already, boy. Oh, they're back? Now do them all without ever taking damage at all. Defeat at least 20 enemies within the same within the time limit. All right. Okay, we're done though. We're going to come back later. We've been here long enough. Please may we have sorry sorry. No, we're going to go to Midgard now and do all the side content in Midgard. This is the stream. Do 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 You all love the slice of life parts from Persona 4 the most, so that's what we're doing now. Do 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 Uh we didn't do um Do we have a new chest open? I don't think we do. We can go do the Elven Sanctum too while we're here. We skipped over, we skipped over, um, uh, Midgard the most. Let's go to Midgard. Did we get the dryer this stream? We did not, no. Midgard? There are still a few loose ends to tie up. Atreus, we uncovered a hidden outpost in Midgard. by my beloved Seekers. I thought we might explore it. Sounds good. I'm not on Gimme God of War mode, no. I'm on the fourth easiest difficulty. I'm on the one below that. <gasps> do, 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 do. Okay, there's a raven around here somewhere that we can quote. All right, we can go here. The derelict outpost. I know we've been there before. There's uh, a rift we can go do. Another rift we can go do. Oh, all three rifts are just in here. Okay, let's go do the rifts. You gonna say hello to the wolves, boy? No? Wait, where's where's Fenrir? Is Fenrir at home? Is that home? Where's home? That's gotta be home, right? Spent time in Asgard. It's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. 
Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother. You want that set fine? Oh, shh. So I I took him too far away. Elden Ring moment. Chat, are we gonna say Elden Ring moment every single time a game does something that's objectively dog shit? Because if so, I fully support it. Good job, I'm proud of you, chat. My game of the year, probably, by the way. Elden Ring, that is. Oh, damn. Damn. Two at a time. All right, that's cool. I'm loving this. I'm coming. I'm coming. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Good no. All right. Oh, 
It sucks, chat. What do you mean? I hit, I hit L and triangle. I took damage. Oh, I'm dead. Okay. What the fuck move was that? What move was that? What do I do there? Dodge to the side, maybe? Oh boy, he has full health. Five will do it. Maybe four will do it too, I don't know. Behind you! Watch out! Close in! Attack! Is Joseph Anderson mentally ill? What'd I do this time? these bosses that's a fun fight I like having to throw something in the middle of a fight that's fun I like it some of the animations are a little bit off and you can't really always tell if you're close enough to hit it but it's pretty fun one guy my brother in Christ the one guy was you <laughs> Uh, this is not the way. Leaving. What would that accomplish? I make you feel better. No. You didn't trust me enough to talk through your worries. That's a wound not easily mended. I'm sorry. You needn't be. The fault is mine. Oh man. The rare self Darvo. Whoa, what's down there? Whoa, what's that? What's the blue? All right. All right, where are we going? All right, starting a really bad, bad feeling that this is the path that we took through with the wolves and I'm gonna be running the whole way now instead of taking the sled. Yep. It's it's really sinking in now what I've done. Yep, this is this is the yeah, okay. Yeah, here's yeah, okay. All right. Okay.
Well, if I turned around now, it would just it just wouldn't be fair to all the steps we've taken before this. All right, we're almost there. It's too far to it is too far to turn back. Odin's mask. How do you hear about it in the first place? He said a voice spoke to him one night, entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate. I still think it's all a bunch of bollocks. Odin got drunk, convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems, <laughs> and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill. Mask probably doesn't do anything at all. Yeah, probably. Probably. All right, we're almost there. All right. Halfway. Halfway. Is the boy following? Oh, for fuck's sake! Mimir, what were you saying earlier? About Sif not being a good mother when you knew her? It's quite true, if I'm being frank. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. Hold. We will finish later. Ron, this is sunk cost fallacy. Joni's really sorry about the sunk cost fallacy. Hey, not knowing about the sunk cost fallacy has served me really well so far, and I'll be damned if I'm gonna change my ways now. Where's Fenrir? Oh, now there's wood here. Okay. Seriously, where's the wolf? Who's keeping this fire going? Chasm still there. Looking good, Chasm. Can we go through here? We can go through here. Is there anything worth it in here? There's nothing on the map. Oh, remember that chest we couldn't get to? Man, this looks so good. Okay, I don't think there's anything worth coming here for, but you know, we're here. Yeah, I think it's fine. Let's turn back. Let's not waste time. There was a chest after it says pillar collapse, and then Mimir was like collapsing things is happening all over through Fimble Winter, and there was a chest in that area that we can get to. What if there's some good in what if there's some good in that chest? What if there's a frozen fra frame in that chest and also a frozen flame? When's our guess when this is coming to PC? Probably in two, three years. There was a guy. There was a guy on uh, during one of our streams. I can't remember what stream it was. But someone had asked me a question, and they said, "Hey, Joe, do you think this this um, Sony exclusive is ever gonna come to PC?" And I was like, "You know, never say never. I don't know. Like, it's, it's not on the card. This was years and years ago. I was like, never say never. Not on the. It's not on the cards right now. But who knows? Who knows? Like, things change all the time. And this guy went on the YouTube vod, and he left like a Bible, just like just like a huge Bible." saying how it was I was an idiot and irresponsible for giving people hope that Sony games would ever come to PC and what the fuck like you're you're a video game critic and you should know better than to say these things about about Sony exclusives ever seeing the light of day on a on a PC and you you are an awful person and all this other shit like that and then, when Sony started uh, uh, putting their games on PC, I went onto that VOD to find the comment, and he had deleted it. If I met someone I liked, 
How would I know if they, uh, like me too? Is there someone? I, no. I was just curious. There's two Actually, someones. Doesn't matter. It's, doesn't matter. It turns out the commenter was coming from inside the house. Maybe they're listening now? I hope they are. I hope they are. Demir, you mentioned Sif wasn't a good mother when you knew her. Like, she used to drink a lot? Aye. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or just as brutally raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother. I know you didn't have an easy childhood, but you can't fathom how much work you can get. Let this wait. Stay alert. <laughs> oh man, I hope we find another one of those things. Okay, we're not. Is this m you holding a grudge? Me hold a grudge? No. I can't believe Baldur's Dragon is still here. It looks like it landed only yesterday. Hi, Cold Preserved it. You've come quite a way since then, lad. Thanks. Okay, how do we do this one? Aha. He'll never see it coming. Do, 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 do. What if I stood here and threw it when he's down? What would happen then? Oh, I couldn't aim for it. Okay, what if I threw one at the lizard and then threw it at the at the pot? Would he pop back up just to die? Cool. Hello, any quick summary of what happened today so far? Um, we confirmed that Fenrir's soul went into the into Garm's body. Then uh, Kratos and Atreus had quite a quite a, a quiet emotional moment, actually. It was pretty good. Um, then we went back to home base. Freya went back to v Vanaheim um, to help her brother. And since then, we've been getting our ass handed to us in Muselheim until about, like, I don't know, 10 minutes ago. Now we're, now we're in uh, Midgard exploring. We did uh, the first round of... Um, uh, trials in Muselheim. They were pretty tough. Pretty tough. What is this undiscovered on the map here? Near the Well of Erd. Haven't done any Berserkers today, but I have done three Berserkers uh, in previous streams. Brother, somewhere out there there's a riddle you'd enjoy. I'm going to find it. Oh, that's the riddle. Once spoken, instantly broken. What am I? Silence. Silence. Correct! I was not answering the riddle. Ah. <laughs> Plus two. Okay, so there's something here somewhere that I'm guessing we need the spear for. I think there's another round tear guard made over there. Deserved. Being slowed sucks. Lesser reefer, I hear it too. For me, it's always like this. Oh, we have to do the climbing before we go up there. That's great. No one died to that fight in playtesting. Go me. I 
there's another realm tear garment. hook him down so I'm gonna have to throw the axe I guess maybe the spear maybe start with the spear do blades get rid of the, the shield off the off the first enemy then use the spear to get him down I really dislike having something firing at me while I'm fighting in this in the, in this game I don't re remember it being that bad in God of War 2018 you know what else it was really annoying in fucking Genshin when there's some little abyss mage off on the corner or, or a, a hilly churl just like throwing something at you, like just so annoying, so annoying. So like maybe just like my playstyle has changed in these kind of games. I think there's another round tear guard made over there. Oh, <laughs> Oh, there's another one now. Oh, for fuck's sake. There's another round tear guard made over there. That's crossed in my neck. Nope, that didn't work. Brother, get up, brother. Won't hit them from down there. Okay. Is this required for the strike? No, this is side content. Well, actually, I don't know. Closing these wrists might be... You might have to do it for the story later, but I seriously doubt it. But it's possible. These were caused by the main story. I think there's another round tear guard made over there. Can I hit him with this? Nope. No way. Alright, so, no running attacks, because then I'm going to get slowed, and once I'm slowed, I'm done. So, no running attacks, unless there's only one left. 
I don't think I can safely throw anything at the guys up top without risking getting hit from the bottom. Maybe I can snipe the first guy. Maybe. But I can't get the second guy. Because now there's two of them down and it's getting out of hand. Alright, so no rooting attacks. No rooting attacks. Maybe I can do a rooting attack right at the beginning. All right, he's dead. All right, we did it. Fucking hell. And then just no stunning, no stagger, nothing. All right. Can I burst the first guy down with all my runic attacks? We're going to find out. I think there's another round tear garment. did it. First try. Alright, we're missing a legendary chest in this area and an undiscovered. I don't know what the fuck that is. Is the undiscovered something we can't do yet, or...? Has the Witcher 3 video been delayed due to the release of the complete edition? No, it hasn't. I made the joke earlier, but it's it's not real. Like, I'm not gonna... Oh, that we can go in there. I'm not gonna, f like, re-record the whole thing or whatever. Like, no. It's probably just gonna be a very minor um, graphical upgrade. If it has, like, new content and shit, then, then yeah, there will be a delay. But I don't think it does. Are you going to do a review of God of War Ragnarok? I hope so. I'm going to try and make a video in six days after I'm done playing with it. And if I can't do it, then I'm going to stop and not waste any more time. How do I get into that? That looks like the path we took down, so I have to go around the whole round way around. It's not going to be a three-hour video. The passage to the Norns. What would we need to go back there for, brother? I thought Atreus would like the horse. Ah. Isn't six days like insanely fast, even for you? Maybe <laughs> even for me. I'm not fast at making videos anymore. I used to be. I used to be one of the fastest, but not anymore. Um. 
I'm trying a new format where I see what I can get done in a strict time limit instead of just being like, the video is what the video is. Alright, there we go. Okay, we can use that. Is that something we can bust through or no? Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Did I miss this last time? Undiscovered? What the fuck is here that's undiscovered? I'm guessing Undiscovered is something we can't do yet. Did you end up finishing The Good Place? I have not, no, sorry. I still haven't seen anything after Season 2. Any show that Lily and I watch together is absolute hell to to ever have the time that the two of us will be able to uh, watch it together. If it's something that I watch by myself, then, you know, when I drift onto a night schedule, then usually I have some TV time. So that's how I watch, like, Stranger Things. I watch the latest season of The Boys. Three legendary weapons. You have a favorite father? No. They are tools for specific tasks. I agree. A preference would be meaningless. I like the axe. I too like the axe. <laughs> Do you think God of War will ever have the balls to touch on Abrahamic religions? Well, I think the fact that you're calling it religion really shows the difference. I don't think they're ever going to do a religion, but they will do a mythology, you know? So if something's still currently a religion, I don't think that they're going to ever touch on it. What is this? Is that the world serpent? Explaining how bad it got for Magni and Modi being raised by Thor and Sif while they were drinking. I want to understand it. Well, imagine learning discipline by having thrashed into you time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on ah! the poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him, but I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. Sif goes straight in hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi that night he found us. Oh, that's a death guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them. Truly. Yeah, I have no idea where they're going with Thor. Now I'm starting to think that we're not going to kill Thor. Hmm. Do you know girlfriend reviews? Do I, do I know them or know of them? I know of them. I've watched some of their videos. I think we had, like, a Twitter interaction. Or I did a tweet. That's it. But I don't, I've never spoken to them or anything like that, no. What mythology would I, would I like them to tackle next? Um, Guess what? Fucking hell, they just don't stop talking. Before, 
Draven stuck us to Svartalfheim, and I saw Derlin again. He was actually trying to do his job. We pretended not to recognize each other. At least I think he was pretending. The point is, it looked like Odin didn't know anything about Derlin helping us find here. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Uh, Egyptian mythology seems to be the most obvious one. I see. Oh, great. Um, I'm pretty ignorant about this sort of thing. I, I like, legit can't even think of another one that would qualify that I would be interested in, like, because I know about it and I thought, that, and I think that would be cool. So almost anything would be cool, I think, because it would be, like, it would be new information to me, you know? So I, I would like that. Celtic, even Celtic, I know next to nothing about, even though that's where I'm from. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. Celtic might be too similar to the Norse. Yeah, it's true. He says with no information. Why were you not stunned? That was a shield bash. Should have dodged away and through the X. You're saying it wrong. It's Celtic. Like, nah, that's a that's a big thing. Celtic or Celtic. I'll say it how my family said it growing up. Thank you very much. It's yeah, it's Elthic. Yeah, sorry, it's Elthic. Slavic mythology for a true Witcher competitor. Um, wouldn't there be again a lot of similarities or some overlap with like kind of like Norse vibes ish there? I'm not saying about full overlap, but if they want to really differentiate themselves, like they went from going from Greek to Norse, I feel like that's not as big of a jump, you know? Okay, we went up here, and there's nothing- Oh, there's a Berserker Gravestone up here, okay. Uh, what's up here? <laughs> Weave Mythology? I actually, at the end of this game, sorry to spoil it, at the end of this game, um... Uh, Atreus and Kratos are sucked through a portal and they're spat out in the Weeb mythology universe and uh, Atreus looks at the camera and says, where are we? And then it turns to Kratos, who now has anime eyes, and he says, I don't know, boy. So I'm pretty hyped for uh, for the next series where they go. What is this? Whoever was here left long ago. 
This is cool fire. What is it? A list of provisions needed to prepare a meal. A recipe? Who left that way out here? We should take a look at the ingredients. Maybe the recipe will lead us to them. I smell a side quest across the realms. Is it here? Oh, it's down here. Okay, I, I thought these were ones we already did. Prong fruit, Bantam melon. That sounds familiar. Elven cap, Nordic gourd. I'm going to pog when I find that. There's initials here. Same ones in that recipe you found? I imagine we might find one of those ingredients around here. Oh, I remember there was one of those somewhere. Um, in Vanaheim? Ah, I knew I recognized those initials. The Ballad of Yari and Selmer. Yari and Selmer? An old tale, but a good one nonetheless. <laughs> the carving marks their passage through this realm. We could always try and find the others, if you're curious. I recently read Cash 22 and loved it. Have you read it? What are you trying to pull here? What's your angle? What are you trying to do? I recently drank Coca-Cola and it was a really great drink. Have you had any of that? Cash Rain 2 is my favorite book. So, if you're not playing an angle right now, congratulations on that coincidence. If you are, what's your end game? Cash 22, these nuts. Oh, shit. Oh. 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 This is not a big arena, though. Huh. Okay. So this is where we fight the last one. Interesting. Oh, sorry. I didn't know that. Haha. <laughs> no endgame. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's my favorite book. I love, I love Cash 22. How do you feel about Fahrenheit 451? I like, I really like that book too. Very misunderstood book, but I like it very much. Very delicate subject matter to discuss in full though, because um, yeah, let's just not get into it. Hey Mimir, do you ever notice Thor talk to his hammer? Oh, still doing that, is he? Yeah, is he? Like charming the steel or casting a spell or something? No, just a weird blow. Is that the helmet from Tyr's statue over there? <laughs> Win minds, not wars. Tyr understood the greatest fight of them all was the battle for people's hearts and minds. Too bad Tyr has no interest in doing either these days. Breastplate of Guiding Light. Yeah, so the same tier that did all of this is now just, like, whimpering in the treehouse? Like, I understand that something was really badly done to him, but... is What's gonna happen later? Because that just went nowhere. That's Fimblewinder for you. Yeah, there we go. Look, a torch. Do you think it belongs to a coal raider encampment? I do not know. If it is... Can we clear them out? Greetings, fellow weebs. Oh, oh, sorry. 
That's all of them. Father, are those the same raiders we rescued our wolves from when they were pups? Yes. These were coal raiders. Wolf raiders. I bet they have other camps around here. If so, I'd like to take care of them so they can't hurt any more animals. Perhaps. Wow, just getting so many side quests. Holy shit, this is the side quest map. Here I was thinking that, um, that Vanaheim was the big one, but no. Seems like Vanaheim and Svartalheim have two small side areas to do, and then this is the big one again. Holy shit. Thoughts on Slaughterhouse 5? Also, also an awesome book. Really, really enjoyed it. Haven't read it in a while, though. Oh, that one looks pretty good. These cost a lot to upgrade, by the way, for considering that you get a lot of them. It, it really doesn't foster experimentation. I think that might be kind of a flaw. I watched the original Ghostbusters, literally feels like 1984. The, the, the book 1984 is, um, is really good. I read that a long time ago and remember it fondly. If there is hope, it lies in the proles. Stuck in my mind forever. I bought Cash 22, but in my language, do you think the story suffers from being translated or can I read the translation? I have no idea. You're gonna have to look up someone who knows both languages and they're gonna have to be able to be like, yeah, this translation, it, it works. Um, I don't remember there being that much wordplay in it, although there is some, it's not completely absent. Um, so uh, translation is an art form all in itself. So, you know, it all depends on the skill of the translator. Hi, Joe. I really like Chrono Trigger. I was wondering if you've played it before. What, what game is that? Are you going to update your WordPress page at some point? Last thing in it is the Hob video and script from 2017. Uh, so the scripts went over to, to Patreon, but they weren't um, they weren't pay-gated, uh, I don't think. No, they weren't pay-gated. The scripts went over there instead of on the WordPress. Uh, because I, if I remember correctly, uh, the scripts were getting so long that they could not go on the WordPress. Um the scripts were also getting so long that they couldn't really go on Patreon either at some point, and now the Patreon's gone, so I don't know if the scripts are ever going to go up online somewhere. If I have time, I'll look into uh, setting up something like that. Do you like classic Russian lit, like Crime and Punishment? I've never read any of that. I'd like to one day, though. Script for The Witcher 3 video is well over 100,000 words. Just the Witcher 3 part. I think the Witcher 3 script is longer than Catch-22. <laughs> it's fucking insane. Have you read the Never Ending Story? It was a book? Was it really? Are you trolling? I know the movie. I don't know the book. Alright, where are we going? We can go over here for the eternal campfire and then, oh no, 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 we already did that. We already, we got that one already. That's across the realms. Okay. If we go up here, we can do some of these, uh, yeah, up here. Triss, I saw a duel in the game too. After we forced the spear, Odin appeared. He had Durland with him, threatening him. Do we have to use the, the door to get up there? As if he knew, I would know him. But if Odin knew all along, then while we were pretending not to know each other, he was pretending not to see through us. <laughs> really is a good liar. Not only that, I am Odin, boy. What the fuck? I'm Odin too. It's Odin's all the way down. Including the DLCs? What do you mean, the... I've seen craftsmanship like this before. Can't imagine how old it is. 
Now, where have we seen an artifact like that before? Tears Vault. The Witcher 3 script? Yeah, it includes the DLC. I have not watched Edge Runners. What's the runtime last you check? It is between 10 and 12 hours, and that's all I will say on it. Look, the oarsmen. Ah, yes. The warriors who sailed their langskips across the realm in search of new lands to conquer. If you watched it on times two speed, it would still take you longer to finish than if you watched the Witcher 2 video on normal speed. Ooh, Raven. Nope. Yeah. Hey, Nathan, just got a new guess. Okay, so does that mean we can go and get one, or no? Is that just acknowledgement that I hit it? Oh, I know where we are. Okay. What? Oh, okay. Just didn't do it enough. Hey, Namir. There's another insignia. Do you think this place belonged to Seagrun's kingdom? It appears so. Huh. I really like this. That they're reusing the area, but because it's frozen over, it's very, very different. I really like that. I had that idea for, um, for uh, a game where you will go through different seasons as you play. And in each different season, because of the different weather, different parts of it are accessible because of that. Like, there's a flood, or there's a freezing over, that's, or there's a drought, that sort of thing. I like, I like this quite a bit. Alright, how do I get... Is this the way back, or...? Oh, owned. Oh no! Oh, you know what? We were supposed to, uh... Oh, it's Wrath, right? Hey, Mimir. When you said Seagram, did you mean the old Valkyrie Queen? Aye. She was once a mortal princess of this realm. And that's it. Are you going to watch way around? Watch the world and support your country? I don't know what that is. No is the answer, apparently. A oh, world cut? Oh yeah, absolutely not, no. I'm not a fan of soccer. Hmm.
Yeah, I can't shoot it from here. That's on the other side, right? Yeah, for sure. Okay, so I go all the way around somehow? That's interesting. All right, and unexpected. Oh. Does that count? No. What if I recall it on the other side now? Oh, it's so close, chat. It's so close. Nah, I can't do it. Can't do it. I give up. I'm settling. Alright, so now I'm just confused. How do I get, a, get in there? Do I go around the long way? Like over here? How many times must I tell you that Kratos can't break wood? A couple more times, sorry. A couple more times. Yeah. Alright, we're back. No, no. Um, so, yeah. It seems like you have to come down here. You can't go around the other way. Is there something up here? Oh! You can go up here! Okay. I didn't see it, my bad. Oh boy. Oh, she leaves a little fire bomb. Ah! 
All right, that's cool. So you can fire, throw the spear into her antlers, and the spear remains in her antlers. And then the next time the antlers become glowy for vulnerability, you can you can activate the spear that's still stuck in the antlers to explode and do the same thing. That's really cool. I'm still gonna die, yeah, but that's that's pretty cool. So hard to love you, Ragnarok. Watch your work. Oh, you can't preemptively load it. So the little dudes are health based on her. So let's snap her down, kill the other two, and then go back and fight her properly. All right. told me her kingdom housed a great treasury filled with the spoils of her family's conquests. Perhaps this outpost holds some of that treasure. Did she say where? No, just that they kept it hidden. I like those, um, those enemies. Apart from their backwards kick being busted, I like those enemies. I like the dropping uh, bombs on the thing you have to dodge away from it. That's a nice little reaction test. Oh, we've been live for like three and a half hours and we haven't taken a break. Not that it really matters because like it's been um just side quest shit.
Did he use L1 Triangle? I have been using L1 Triangle a little bit since we got out of Muselheim and... Like, it's alright. It's hard to tell, though, because it's mostly been trash mobs. Here's the other staircase. Wait, what did we do? Yep, couldn't have done that from the other side. Oh, it's not a nightmare. from the River Empire. Never been myself, but I hear it's lovely. <laughs> Perhaps those runes over there can shed some light. What? No. She never mentioned. Oh, now we have to read it. An accursed name. Woe to the great princess Sigrun, her heart is broken and her mind may follow. She committed a sin for which there can be no redemption. She said Silent Hill 2 was only good. She loved the wrong man, handsome of face and congeal of smile. He was perfect except for his name, King Helgi. Sigrun's father, King Hogni, would never approve of such a marriage for one simple reason. This was the name of his old enemy. So strong was Hogni's hatred of Helgi that he would never allow that man into his home. But Sigrun loved him still. I mean, get over it? Like, this seems like... Like, why, why would you just sabotage your whole entire relationship with your daughter over a name? Like, you really need to get over it. However, I do have to point out that it's your kingdom, your rules, not the asshole. True. Your castle, your rules. Sorry. But Sigrun left him still, and so she endeavored to convince her father that what love should be could be stronger than hatred. She was Mistakian. Oh man, I hope Thor doesn't have armor made of this later. What's that? Looks like a key. Hmm. Wonder what lock that key belongs to. No lock. It is broken. It's not broken. It's just split in half. Perhaps we could find his partner. Okay. Un, deux, horse, toi. Toi. <laughs> What? Did I miss it? It was right on. That I missed. I wasn't too slow. This was the first one I hit. Oh, is there different speeds? Look how long this one is staying off. Alright, there we go. That's weird. I've never seen him at different speeds before.
why speed matters. Oh. Oh, okay. What what did this do exactly? Did this just uncover the stairs? It didn't do anything over here, right? Because this is where we came from. There's an artifact we missed here somewhere. Okay, that seems to be kind of done. All right. Hmm, now we can jump over that. All right. We'll clear this area and then we'll take a break. What did the rune say? Secret. <clears throat> he loved another. A king named Helgi. Seems they were madly in love. But her parents wouldn't let them marry. Must have been hard for her not to marry who she wanted. I imagine so. Yeah, I finally catch your life. Welcome! It's a bit of a quiet stream today. I'm not talking all that much today. We're just kind of mopping up some side content in, uh, in God of War. Oh, there is something here. Is this the last artifact? Not talking all that much. Oh, am I keeping up with it? Okay, I feel like I'm not talking much today. I'm not getting many plus twos today. Doesn't one cancel out the other? No. It means it is better to live modestly and abide by strict rules of conduct rather than letting greed be the cause of conflict. Well said, brother. I'm in heavy debt with the chat. Alright, so this is busted. This is what we used before. Oh wait, is it not busted? That looks like something you could use the blades on but I don't think we can reach it. All right, so that's that. I think we're done here. There's an undiscovered here. It's this, I can feel it. Never been more wrong. Sus. Whatever happened to the Owl Seminium playthrough? Really want to see you tackle all the game shenanigans. That's going to be happening sometime in 2023. It's on the voted games list. Um, I don't know what's on the list next after Hypnospace Outlaw, but 13 Sentinels is on there, and um, Fire Emblem Three Hooses is on there. And Al Seminium Files. I think those are the three big heavy ticket games still left on there that people really want me to play. 
There's a bunch of other ones on there too, but um, they're more kind of like, I just like to see you have that playthrough, but they're not like, like big time, holy shit, the coming attractions, you know what I mean? Although playing all of the Metal Gear Solid games might be fun. I've played all of them already, apart from, I haven't played the big boss ones, and I haven't played five, but I have played one through four. Oh, what? I thought this was a, uh... I thought this was a, 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 th a thing. Um, uh, a worm. Little worm guy. Oh, that did nothing. Uh, not feeling this ve this uh, version of rage, man. It doesn't do that much damage. Okay, can I- am I allowed to hit you? This guy just stayed in evasive maneuvers for so long. Yeah, it's in-game. It's not my dogs. Oh, boy. Oh. Loot and free. All right. Okay, we're good. Oh, we're not good. We are good? I think we're done.
possibly the best looking snow I've ever seen in a game. Especially the way it's packed around like walls and stuff. Very lifelike. Okay, so we have, this is done. There's something that we missed over here. I need to go get that. Uh, I don't know if I want to, we're kind of already done apart from this. We're here, we might as well finish it. Um, all right, so I'm gonna go pee and get a drink. And when I come back, we're going to go down here into this area. And then after that, we're gonna go over to here to do this area. And then we're gonna push the main quest a little bit. Although, what is this? Animal Instincts Raider Key. Uh, are we going to do that too? I kind of want to push the main quest, but I feel like I'm, I'm behind like uh, the weapon curve. There's probably a frozen flame around here somewhere. And the weapon upgrading the weapon seems really important. I don't know. We'll see how it goes, if this is interesting or not. Uh, we also haven't got back into Tyr's Temple, and I feel like that's maybe important. But in either case, I'm going to go pee, and then we will uh, continue. Oh, there's another Raider Fort over here. Hmm. You having fun there, Gatsby? Alright, be back in five. Alright, second gayest chat on Twitch, I'm back. Where are we going? Guiding light, let's go over there. Second who's- Jermish chat is apparently first, because, you know, Jermish is better at everything than me. Well, that's fair. Yeah, you can't compete with the greatest, man. Gotta know your place. That does not do that much damage. Did he just pop out of the snow? Aren't these humans? Oh, okay, what? That's kind of cool. Just spin the winter things, yeah. It's true, I have never buried myself in snow and ambush. That separates me from a, from a native Canadian, obviously. Wasn't born here, so haven't done that.
Okay, that was that. Oh, there's a piece we missed over there for a quest. Why do they whine? There are more coal raiders out there, and they know it. Mm. They fear that it can no longer hurt them. They were only puppies when the coal raiders killed their pack. And the wolf smelled them. It was like they became those same scared pups again. Oh. Wait, what? Where? Where is this? Oh, it's like in this area. Oh, okay. It's not exactly right here. So we're looking for blue writing somewhere, I believe. This is too far. And we're looking for a, a piece of uh, Tears statue. I think that's it. I don't see it. All right, we're in it again. I scouted ahead. The lake's crawling with raiders. Be careful. Oh, definitely need that. Oh. 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 Spelt wrong. When in doubt, open out. All right. Apparently, it go down. Chat. Chat is convinced it go down. I'm not convinced. Yeah, it's over there. Defend the peace. You know. This looks like something a giant would wear. Good eye. Tyr's bracers were crafted by the finest artisans in Jotunheim. Like Tyr, the Jotnar also believe the best offensive strategy is a good defense. So, this is how they chose to honor him. The giants were not wrong. Yep. Kratos is the uh, epitome of the best offense is the best defense. Yep. Mm-hmm. He was just defending himself against that that locked door. Okay, and that is the another raider hideout over there. Remember, I said we were gonna go south, and then we didn't. Since you've been doing a lot of side content this stream, what do you think of the game side content? Uh, so far, I think this area has been the best side content of them all. Uh, it feels like I'm actually exploring a place instead of just like. I feel like being able to get off the sled and walk around like makes it better than constantly looking for docks and shit. Um, so I don't like the boat side content, I guess. But so far, I think it's the weakest part of the game. What the fuck? Gotten to know Thor's daughter somewhat. Yeah, it was great. Wants to be a Valkyrie one day. She deserves to be. Of course, I told her all about the Valkyries we faced. But I'm not sure how much she believes me. It didn't go great when I tried to tell her stories about her grandfather, though. Anyone can have a blind spot when it comes to family. Some only learn the truth in the hardest way. If you were to introduce an adult to video games who has never played any, if they are mostly interested in them as a storytelling medium, what game would you have them start with? Well, I would need to know their interests. Like, what kind of story stories do they like outside of video games? Um, and have they ever done any, any, do they have any exposure to it whatsoever? Because like Outer Wilds is a great f first, uh, game for story, but in terms of like controlling first person camera and everything, that can be a little daunting, you know? Um, I know it sounds silly, but Outer Wilds is not, a, is not the easiest game to play in the world just from a control perspective. Uh, so I'm not sure if I would start with that one. Um... <laughs> I don't know if I agree with going for a story heavy for the first one. You just start with a simple gameplay, like just just a Mario game. Like here, run and jump, figure it out. It's how, get used to to being comfortable controlling a character on the screen. You know, I feel like that's important. But if they if they just want story game and they like politics and stuff, then um, you know who doesn't? Uh, Disco Elysium. Yeah. 
If they like fantasy though, like probably um, a CRPG. I don't know which one. Steins Gate. Oh, I died. Okay. Wow. That guy really disagreed with the Steins Gate suggestion. Behold my power. Journey would be good. I've never played Journey, so I can't confirm or deny. Now maybe the wolves will cease their whining. Should they play inside Joe? Inside might be a good choice for a first game, yeah. Inside and Limbo, yeah. Definitely not a bad choice. Okay, I just throw another bomb, right? And it'll work. Yeah. Heavy ring attack. Uh, two destructive blade items that stagger and launch enemies. Is that the one I used in? Uh... Actually, maybe this is the one I used in 2018. I can't remember now. That is three and everything. That goes up to five. Damn. I feel like it just just does, does not do that much damage. I wonder if that's a difficulty option thing, or if they just like consciously chose to, to nerf remake attacks for this version of the game. This version for uh, for this um for the sequel. Are you going to play the Plague Tale sequel eventually? Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna make a video on it. I heard it's more of the same, and they just uh, they have the same issues that the first game had with um can't get past this wall. go the long way around even though you should be able to get up the wall you know it's kind of frustrating 
your running stat is kind of low too. That's true. Yeah, maybe it's a stat thing. All right. So like this game, yeah, kind of like this game, except it doesn't have. It, it might not have fun combat. It might though. Maybe they increase the combat options. I don't know. Yeah. Funnily enough, a play tale is kind of similar to to this game in a lot of ways, especially the camera angle and the kind of sense of scale too. Big God of War vibes. Where is where is the other one? Okay, that was there and there, so it's either further over there or it's further over there. I feel like it should be over there somewhere. Can I get up there? Are there any games you consider underrated? That's a tough question. I don't think so. I'd probably go with games that I think uh, haven't got enough attention, like CrossCode. I really love CrossCode. CrossCode's a great game. Zero time dilemma. Okay, I feel like I'm being blind. I feel like there's a way up there, an easy way up there, and I'm just missing it. Steven Sausage Roll? Yeah, maybe. Behind here? No, can't even get behind here. I'm happy it's like letting me look for it though instead of telling me where it is. It's not back here. We checked down here already. Oh, we didn't check down there. Oh, sneaky. All right. Sneaky, sneaky. All right, I like that. Nice. All right. Can we even throw it there, or is it gonna be we have to uh, we have to do the arrows? Maximum rage increased. Uh, so I, d I still don't really like um, Wrath. Although we didn't upgrade it, but let's go back with Fury for now. And let's fully upgrade it too. We really don't use this, although it seems very powerful. <gasps> Thanks, Lisa. Welcome back. He's so grumpy. Father, why can't you just be, I don't know, kind to them? You remember, don't you, brother? Watching a stronger man take your family away. I should not have told you that. Huh? My brother, Demos, in youth, he was taken. Like, like our wolves. Yes. Okay, I don't think there's anything up there anymore, so let's go south. Okay. 
What's one of the last games you played but neither reviewed nor streamed? Uh, I was playing some Factory games for a bit. I was playing Factorio. I slipped between Factorio, Satisfactory, and Dyson Sphere Program. Uh, I was also playing s the Stardew Valley Expanded oh, uh, mod. Who you meant when you asked about fighting, bro? No, I mean, I wasn't asking about anyone specific. And, well, skilled her life through. But she's only interested in becoming a Valkyrie. She's focused, you know? Oh, very well, lad. Very well. Just hope you know if you ever need to review anything we discussed. I know. It's good. We're fine. Damn, look at the trail being left in the snow. That's really cool, huh? Over there, it looks like a spear. Wish for peace, be ready for war. Well, True. I think that's the last of it. Doubtful we'll find any more interesting bits. Everyone from all nine realms really loved here, huh? Where I come from, gods of war are not revered in such a way. Not all gods of war are the same, brother. No, they are not. Very true. I also tried um, the Obsidian uh, crafting game, Grounded. I tried that for about, like, I don't know, like two hours. And I kind of liked it. It was interesting, but the combat kind of felt butt to me, and I didn't really want to continue playing it because the combat was so shit. Uh, but I don't know if it's shit because it's actually shit or if it's shit because it's awkward. Did you manage to kill Garm anyway? We killed him a few times, actually. But it didn't take. And I figured maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. So I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon? Fenrir, remember the light father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I figured that out, I just put Fenrir into Garm. <laughs> Clever one, lad. A gigantic hell beast with the soul of a loyal pup. What a brilliant! Okay. I feel like I'm not as pissed off as I should be about his. He just conveniently and accidentally cast a spell to put the soul of his wolf into a knife, and then it turned out that that was really important later to have. I feel like I should be more fucked off about that. That's kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, like, I, I did a Google search for, like, grounded combat bad, and all I got was a bunch of Redditors saying that if, if you think the combat's bad, that you need to L2 parry scrub, and that you're just shit at the game, and that's a yikes for me, dog. The combat in this game is kind of goaded, and oh my god, Redditor received shooting star for this comment. So, I don't really know how I feel about grounded's combat. Maybe you just need to get comfortable with it and learn how to parry in perfect block or whatever. They, they were talking like it was Sekiro. It was like, oh my god, you just suck at this game. I'm like, what the fuck? Ooh, it's troll time. Are we friends? Still might be friends. Nope, we're not friends. Okay. I think it's more fucked up how he named his wolf Fenrir when they already seen all the myth about him in Tyr's temple. What do you mean? It's not that that was the myth. That's Fenrir. We made him. Right? <laughs>
getting good mileage out of the mission. It's fine that they showed it again. It's fine. Whoa, these wolves, man. Wait, did I miss anything back here? I love the editing transition you did in the God of War video. Were you splicing all together? Yeah, it was fun. Back when it was still a lake. It did at first. Then Thor saw it. The second sculptor was a great deal more complimentary. Guess that explains why Odin's statue doesn't quite look like him either. I was surprised by how much fun I have doing uh, video editing things because that's really out of my area. You know, I'm completely self-taught and it probably shows. So uh, when I'm able to like get creative with that, it's like, uh, I'm always surprised. I'm like, ooh, this looks halfway decent. That's fun. I'm still nowhere near like the level of, um, of like Game Maker's Toolkit and the like when it comes to doing editing stuff, but I still have fun with it. Why are we sending those ravens back to Nikolheim? Have you heard of the new Obsidian game, Pentiment? Apparently it's like Disco Elysium, it just came out today. Yeah, I saw a trailer of it today, and I really don't like the art style, and that's making me not want to play it. I know that's a very shallow reason not want to play a game, but I'd rather be honest than pretend I have interest in it. Another Coal Raider camp. We should clear that one out too. It'll make our wolves feel safer. But if it's great and I can get past it, then I'd be okay with it. I absolutely love the art style a lot. What does it feel like to be objectively wrong? Whoa. You should know that feeling well. That's true. That's true. Very true. Screen. Joe is mad that it doesn't look like anime. Unironically true. I saw a little bit of that new um, uh, Danganronpa game, and having that same art style, I just associate it with a killing game. It makes me. It, it it's presents itself as with sinister intent to me now. Like I can't take that art style seriously outside of the the scope of like, oh, something awful is gonna happen. Do you not use resurrection stones on purpose? Yeah, it's on purpose. I don't I don't like them. How the fuck do people watch anything on times two speed? I watch almost everything on times two speed. Incoming fire! Was my Danganronpa art take a bad one? Sorry. 
It's just how I feel. I just have like a uh, an association with killing games with that art style. They can make them like the nicest, most wholesome game in the world with that art style, and like the whole time I would be like, okay, when is a when is a bear gonna show up and start killing people? Elemental evasion. Object can be with dormant thunder and lightning. Guard jealousy with coal raiders in Midgard. What the hell is that? Hmm. Is that the element we're missing? We have a f we have an ice axe, a fire sword, a wind spear. We don't have a lightning weapon, and I don't think we're gonna get another weapon in this game, although it really felt like we were gonna get Molnir. I'm glad we didn't get Molnir though, actually. It seemed a little too uh, too on the nose. We might wield Molnir later in, in the in the game, but I don't think we're gonna have Molnir as a weapon we can upgrade. Do I like Monokuma? Not really. Too on the nose and too similar to the too similar to the axes is the more um, the better reason to not do it. I think yeah, very very similar to the axe. V we all right. Did we go over there in that cave? I can't remember. Lot of the raiders. Do not do not be afraid. You are safe. Good. Good boys. They're girls. Good <laughs> girls. Not long ago, we rescued a pack of wolves from Raiders on Lake of Nine. Despite my warnings, Atreus decided to name them. Having these two pull the sled has made transportation significantly easier. Who was pulling the sled before? You? Specky and Svana have served us well and been welcome companions on this leg of our journey. I see their need for affection. I feel a desire to protect them and bring them comfort. I am pleased that we were able to rid the realm of the Raiders who slayed their kin. And if it is in with my power, I will let no wolf suffer the same fate. <laughs> Okay, we can go, we can't, I don't think we can go up here. Oh, is this the path to the lightning? Oh, it is. Oh, it isn't. Well, all right then. To be a sculptor from the southern lands. Oh, 
Have you ever played Kerbal Space Program? If yes, what do you think of Kerbal Space Program 2? I have never played Kerbal Space Program. Would I enjoy Kerbal Space Program? Ooh, you can go up there. Um, let's do that a little later. You know, Gar? How is he locked up to begin with? Ah, Hell's Feral Sentinel. Well, believe it or not, Midgard was once bigger. Yeah, then just a wee pup got peckish. He ate Midgard? Only a few mountain ranges. And the fifth season that comes after winter but before spring. And the word for the feeling when you get so hungry, you stop being hungry. You're messing with me. I would never. <laughs> you would. You would not enjoy it, to be honest? Hmm, okay. It's Outer Wilds, but not anime. Imagine if trying to land on the Sun Station was the whole game. Oh my god, I'm sold. Let's just stop playing this right now. Why aren't we playing Kerbal Space Program right now? What are we even doing? This time for sure. That relic. Do you suppose it's the one we read about? Something to counteract a sleeping curse. Why are you going so low, Axe? Okay, it's like it's designed specifically so I can't fucking throw the axe. Look at this shit. Look how low it goes. And then I go a little bit up. And then it's like, nope, now we're doing... Oh, so that hits. All right, so this should hit too, right? Motherfuckers. The mirror. How did they capture Garm in the first place? That was Tears doing. He lured the beast somewhere safe and kept it distracted by lending his own arm to be gently chewed. Once the chains were on and the gate turned. That's where we were just now, right, Raider Keep? Garm bit Tears' arm clean off in retribution. But Tears not missing an arm. Well, it grew back, eventually. He is a very resourceful god, after all. That's so weird. We must have been to this part of the lake a hundred times, but I've never seen that building before. Aye. Strange, isn't it? Let's take a closer look. <laughs> Hmm. Can you check out the column of smoke on like we already we it was over here, right? We've already been there. It was just a camp. We wiped it out. I'm pretty sure.
Did you play Little Nightmares too? I did not know. Not yet. I'll play it one day. Oh, that was easy. Doesn't that big shield look familiar? It's another piece of Tears likeness sent flying across the lake. Ended up lodged right into this building, apparently. All this must have been hidden behind the ice until that shield smashed through it. I don't think brute force will work. Shut up, boy. Actually, hold on. What's over here? Oh. The way you... Okay. Are there any new games you've beaten this year off stream other than Elden Ring? Um, none that come to mind. Uh, I haven't really been doing much gaming aside from, like I said a little earlier, I was like I've been playing some um, some Stardew Valley expanded, and uh, I played a little bit of Hollow Knight with Finn, and I played some Factory games, Satisfactory Dyson Sphere Program, and uh, Factorio Space Exploration mod, but I haven't really got that far into them. I also tried a game called Captain of Industry and like bounced off of it within 45 minutes. It was just too difficult to understand what the fuck I was going to be doing. It's all it's also an early access, so it's a little like like eh. Alright, so I have to move the shield to put that down. Alright, this is kind of fun. Have you seen any Dosh Doshington's videos? The guy is pretty new, amazing Factorio content. Never heard of him, sorry. I haven't played any Neon Neon White off stream, no. Since so you've been playing different Factory games, any chance you'd like to make, you want to make a video on it? I'd love to make like a Factory Games video, yeah, but I don't know if I, if I could, if I have time for it. Videos are, are up in the air at the moment. I'm gonna try an experiment with different kind of formats and see if I can find a way to still make videos for the for the next couple of years. But if not, then I'm gonna be uh, uh, in uh, retirement from for for a while and just stream. How's the game so far, Mr. Joe? It's pretty good. Do you think you'll play Persona 5 Royal or Persona 3 first? I don't know. We have a lot of games to go through before we tackle a game that long. Uh, I'm guessing by the time we're done with all of the, the lists that we have that um, both will be available. Persona 5 Royal is now on Steam, right? So that makes it easier. Wait, what, what are we doing right now? Alright, where's the other one? You could just make some sleep therapy audio. Yeah, I could. Have my uh, ASMR career. I already have the name for it, which I'm going to use in an April Fool's joke, which I will give you all an, e e uh, an early preview to. Because my ASMR name is going to be... When you when you uh, when you're into ASMR, it's all about getting your tingles. So it's it's Joe, Joe Tingles. 
get Joe Tingles from Joe Tingles. All right, I'm a little confused what we're supposed to be doing here. That was worse than wardrobe. Not true. Not true. Not funny. Didn't laugh. Wow. Wow. What a stick in the mud. I hear a raven. Oh, no, I don't. I hear this. Why don't you ever make a critique video about anime games like Persona and Danganronpa, which you clearly seem to seem to enjoy? Afraid of being labeled a weeb? No question mark at the end. No, that's just a statement. No question mark at the end. Uh, it's not that I don't want to or I'm avoiding it. It's just that the, the time has never been right for me to have the time to commit to that kind of project. Um, I'd have to play all the Danganronpa games again, which would be fairly time consuming, but nowhere near as time consuming as playing all the Persona games again. For a big video on Persona, you know, the hey, series. Useful. useful? But, you know, never say never. That's it. Now... How do we open that gate? Okay, now they will turn somehow for some reason. Oh, it does. What are your favorites for the Game Awards? Um, I didn't really look at it, but... Elden Ring getting a, a nomination for Best Narrative, which I confirmed after the stream is actually true, is a kind of weird. The door. Okay. Great. Now, what's in here? Whoa. What is this place? Father, look. It's Seagram's insignia. Must be a family treasure. Good eye line. Now, wager that door leads to the coffer. You know, I think that key we found back there goes to this lock. Not when it's broken in two. Then let us find the other half. Uh, Stray getting nominated for Game of the Year is also a little odd to me, but I haven't played it, so I don't want to go hard on that at all, because maybe it's absolutely fantastic, but um, someone whose opinion I trust played it and said it was fine, but it wasn't like, oh my god, best game ever, like, so, I don't know, that's a bit weird. Wait, what are we doing? The lost treasure. No, it's here. The lost treasure? It's not here. I'm wrong. Where's the, um, there it is. Stray 100% deserves game of the year. Does it really? Okay. I haven't played it, so I can't argue. See what that's like, YouTube? See what that's like? I haven't played the game, and I'm not talking shit. See? See what that's what that looks like. 
Oh, it's called Sigrun's Sig 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 Curse, not the Lost Treasury. Okay, hold on. Sigrun's Curse. Open treasury door. All right, thank you. How do we do that? You just open it. Find clues from Sigrun's past. Okay. Yeah, so we have to go over to the west. Sorry. Can you please read my comment that I've been spamming for half an hour? There you go, I read it. Sorry. I like that Zelda Blade 3 was nominated for Game of the Year. Was it really? It seemed kind of mindless until he cast a spell that restored their identity. Aye, that was his habit, even when they were confined to Valhalla. I think letting them remember themselves was another small way of cheating death any way he could. Though I wouldn't be surprised if with that small gift of autonomy, he also embeds an undying personal loyalty to himself. Where's the comment? I've been I've been staring at staring at chat waiting for it. Where's the comment, Riso? The raiders eating wolves plot this dumb and forced these raiders were and forced these raiders were probably trying to survive and there's no food and they just slaughtered them all. Yeah, that's a good point actually, yeah. That was the comment, I scrolled up, I saw it. Joe, I think you're great, and I agree. Oh, thank you. Oh, we can't get up there. Shit, how do we get up there, then? What? We've done a full circuit, right? Namir, I'm not sure how to ask this. There's stories Odin told me, like how he lost his eye. Where the details are different from stories you've told me. And I trust you, of course, but they don't seem like things you'd have a reason to lie about either. One thing to remember about lies. They lie. It's true. They do it on principle. No issue too big or too small. They lie about anything they can get away with and some things that they can't just to demonstrate their power over reality. You must always bear that in mind. It's very true. Very true. Thank you. I can finally rest, watch the sunrise on a grateful universe. <laughs> Everybody's a liar though. Everybody lies. Except for me. Look at the snow collecting on these. God damn. God damn. The budget just on this on this bridge cost more than, than the entirety of the game that I'm making is going to make. <laughs> the world doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Recycled jokes minus two. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was being held to stand-up comedy standards. Whoa! What the fuck hit me? Um, what's wrong with boy? That's new. Use a shield, 
You should learn to sign the ring spirit attack increases damage a lot. I don't understand what I'm supposed to do. Like, sometimes it feels like I'm actually controlling when it attacks, and other times it feels like I'm. it's slower if I don't hit the button, you know? Um, but I, I feel like it should be. I should be timing it with the swing, so... And is it, L, is it R2 or L1? Okay, so the whole time I've been hitting the wrong button. All right, cool. All right, never mind. Literally the whole time I've been hitting the wrong button. All right, cool. Lamayo, Lamayo, Lamayo. Game needs more tutorials again. Nah, it's fine. Eventually, I would have looked at it and gone, oh, okay, I've been hitting the wrong button. All right, cool. I will now fix that. We both did. The result of our weapons colliding. Wish I could have been here. Even things up a little. As do I. Alright, what bullshit is this gonna be? Alright, let's start off with the blades. I don't like anime. I don't like anime. No, I don't like anime. Do I? <gasps> this is a great use of uh, reuse of assets, I think, and locations. I r really, really enjoy this. Same area from the first game, completely frozen over, enjoying it, exploring a different way. I really, really like this. This is my favorite side area in the game. I like it a lot. Kind of weird. I miss using this place. How so? I don't know. It was a place we could depend on. It just reminds me of a time before everything changed. Everything changes, always, even when you cannot see it. Well said, brother. <laughs> Joe's no longer happy with just loot. You could say he's looting intolerant. Nice. Nice. Ever thought of reading a manga? Recently, I did think about reading a manga because I um, watched the show on Netflix. What was the show? It was uh, it was Alice in Borderland, uh, and I and I liked the show. I thought it was cool. I think it would make an excellent video game. Actually, I watched Alice in Borderland, and uh, then I looked up, and it was it was it was a manga, and I was like, hmm, I wonder if I want, if I can get that and read it. Because I thought the show was pretty good. I didn't think it was perfect. I didn't think it was great. But um, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, the ending was kind of like, hmm. Thanks for grabbing that for us. Chat is very divided on this. A lot of people are laughing. Other people are like, yeah, it's pretty good. I don't understand why. You make up your mind.
he, nah, he would like Chainsaw Man. This time for sure. This time for sure. This time for sure. All right. Take care now. Can't upgrade the axe. We can upgrade the grip. That does practically nothing, though. Ooh, we can upgrade that to level 8. Damn. The Hoplite Lunge and Phalanx Breaker skills, Sprint plus L1 or R2, Apply More Sun, have moderate luck chance to grant a lower. I like that one, actually. Let's get it. And then we almost have level 9. What is preventing me from getting to 6 right now? Oh, he can upgrade the shield. Nice. Put some hurt on him. Can I do a backflip? Uh, I pulled my back getting out of a chair last night, so no, I cannot. I cannot do a backflip. Wish I could. Happy birthday to me. And the kid? About time I had something to do. <sighs> I feel like I should be able to uh, upgrade something. Get in the to get to level six. Should I take should I put on different armor? And upgrade it up to level seven? Because I can't upgrade this shit because I don't have uh whatchamacallit to do it yet. Um now we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine, we're fine. Alright, did I get another one? Svartalheim, Svartalheim, Svartalheim. Oh, there's different ones. That's interesting. All right, do I want lifeblood instead? Defense and vitality, defense and cooldown. Yeah, let's let's, let's replace fortune. Okay, missile and protection. We. It's not bad. Oh, we can put Jotunheim on. All right, Jotunheim gives us maximum rage based on his vitality. All right, that's kind of cool. Dodge rolling, double tap, will hasten the expiration of burn, poison, and fro- Oh, that's really good. Let's put that on. That's really good. And let's put on Jotunheim Essence. Strength, Fatality, Luck. Yeah. Defense, Fatality, Luck. Runic Vitality, uh, Vitality Cooldown, Defense Vitality, look, let's put that one on. Alright, there you go. Alright, cool. I am really surprised let us in here. This room looks so cool. The lake freezing over broke the realm travel table. It is just a table. I know. And being able to use the gateways to realm travel is way more convenient. But I don't know. The tree roots spreading, flowers wilting and regrowing, the light show with the crystals. It really was something to see. It was. But people on YouTube complained about it, boy, and we had to take it out of the game for something more convenient. Okay, is there anything in here to get? Doesn't look like it. I can't remember my God of War video, man. I like I was looking through the comments on it last night, and I wanted to watch a little bit of it, but then you know I threw my back out. <laughs> like, how did I make that video three hours? I know the last hour is pretty much just nitty gritty combat shit that no one really gives a fuck about apart from me and maybe a couple others. Um, and I even say that in the video, like, like, like this is the part where you can like, you can leave now if you don't give a shit about this. Um, but even two hours before that, what, what, that's a long video. Alright, doesn't look like there's anything in here. Alright, I'm, I'm lost. How do I get out? 
Was it that one? All right, it was this one. Did we flip the temple back right afterwards? Can you put your God of War video playing in the top right corner so we can multitask and see how it got to be three hours long? We could do that. Should we watch it after we're done? Should I should I do a live react to should I be a react Andy? A react Joe Andy to my own content? And I can laugh at the Kratos is the greatest joke at the same time that I laugh in the video in my own joke. Kratos is the greatest. So, father's new spear, it's made out of a ring? Drop me an eye. Forged by the Hulner brothers as a gift for Odin. How's it work? Every so often, the drop near drips out identical copies of itself. The Hulgers presumably figured that if one golden ring was a good gift, an infinite number of them would earn them a permanent place in Odin's heart. But it didn't. Not even a little. What was over here? We definitely did that camp. 99% sure we did that camp. That's how we go back to home, right? Was over there? Yeah, okay. Wait, hold on. What was above, though? We didn't go above. Did we? We went down. We didn't go over here. Oh, there's nothing. Lamayo, okay. So we can get into there. Maybe there's something in there. Maybe we already did it. <laughs> Were you not there for the God of War Ragnarok streams? Too bad you you missed the the origins of the it it go down meme. Now the new smash shit that's going to be said for every stream from now on. Characters fade to black after you know romantic consent in Persona 3. It go down. Oh. Alan, Alan, it go down, Alan. I'm more of a that's not the future guy. <laughs> Very observant boy. That's so funny because uh, TBFP also made a X go down meme in their 2018 God of War playthrough. Oh, maybe that's where it came from then because I think I read it from chat. Or maybe I said it first. I don't know. Probably read it from chat. Alright, so this is the last side area in this location, and then we're gonna do a crumb of main content. Another sleeping troll, courtesy of the dwarves. The tablet spoke of a relic that could arouse the trolls. I wonder, do you think we could use such an item on that troll? Didn't we already find it? We did not, alright. Sigrun <laughs> came from a kingdom of warriors, huh? And Seeker herself was no slouch with a sword. Yeah, I remember. 
Yeah, she was okay. It took me a long time to beat Seagrun on Gimme God of War. In no small part due to the, the bullshit inconsistent stuns and how you could just never use some of your rink attacks because she would just kill you if you did. As soon as you time limit, you'll not be doing the fifth easiest difficulty playthrough for the video. I will be doing it for the video, but I'm not going to stream it. I'm not going to put you all through that. Also, as much as I, I like to say that I'm playing it as much as I would be if I wasn't streaming, like, I'm not. Like, I, I could have snuck downstairs and had, like, an, an extra hour here and there throughout the playthrough so far. So, I don't think I'm going to put you through that. Why do I not learn? I'm dead. I'm not dead. That, that was fucking weird. I was thinking once, uh, uh, I've been thinking this for a while actually, um, of doing, uh, streaming the whole process of making a video from start to, to start to end. Like, maybe we'll sit and talk and actually pick a game and I'll be like, okay, what game should we do? Alright, we're gonna do this game, I'm gonna play it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell you the notes I'm making as I go. Um, then I'm gonna write the scripts, um, live on stream. I don't think I would have the word processor open because I don't think I could do that. This is where, this is where the, the limitations start coming in. Like, I don't think I could do that. Um, I don't think I could live with that. You know? <laughs> Sorry. And I also worry that I wouldn't be able to do, um, I wouldn't be able to record the script on, on stream live. Like, I just have to pretend that none of you are here. I make a lot of mistakes when I when I um, when I record the scripts. Then I would go through the uh, the audio editing, and um, I could show you how I do like some of the uh, slicing a lot of different takes together because um, that happens a lot actually. And then do the video editing process as well. I think that could be fun, but I don't know if I could do parts of it. it just might die of embarrassment. Not that there's anything to be embarrassed about, just, I don't know. Something about it makes me want to cringe. Don't worry, Joe. We are already cringing. Aw, oh, you. Thank you. That makes me feel better. Call it Canadian spelling. With an E. If you miss oh, anything up, that's true. I think if I did it, I would have chat turned off. And just be like, here's my process, and I'll try and talk out loud if I can. But that might kind of get. Can you play? Yes. Will you? No. No. That might kind of get awkward if I'm just sitting in silence for a lot of it. All right, that takes us back here now. So now we can lower that, and we can jump across here.
Probably at least worth a shot. If it doesn't work out, you can always stop. First time. We could totally hook on and swing. Your movie sucks does edit stream sometimes. People get used to them pretty quickly. Does he also record himself recording the, the scripts? or Does uh, Adam have scripts for a lot of his videos? I know he must have them for some, especially the longer ones he does. But when he does his, um, like... I just saw Batman and it was boring. Like, does he just improv that and he just like speaks his mind when he gets back? Because that's that's the um, the impression I got. Maybe his notes he's like reading from. His quickies aren't scripted. Yeah, okay. And I'm giving this a six out of ten. Based six out of ten giver. Wait, what do you say about? Ba I I don't know what he said about man Batman. I'm just like I just picked the movie in my head. I heard it was good. I haven't seen it yet. Gatsby. How's it going, boy? My god, I learned. Forty-seven months up to the resub, damn, thank you. Top ten fave movies. Oh god. I can't tell you that. I don't know. I don't think about movies that much. I know what my favorite movie is. My favorite movie of all time is Fight Club. Not only because it's just a banger movie, but also because, um... Just like Chrono Trigger being my favorite game. Like, when I when I watched it for the first time, I was very impressionable, very young. Didn't really know what I was getting into when I started watching it either. to follow a higher calling with the Valkyrie. Very much so. Lol, what's wrong with Fight Club's a great movie? What the fuck? David Fincher? What the hell? I watched it when I was, I think, I was thinking I was 14 or 13 when I first watched that movie. I can't remember how old I was. And it was like, I, I expected it to just be like a dumb action movie and it was going to be some guys fighting. I was like, okay, I'll watch this before bed. And then I was just, like, transfixed for the whole duration. I was like, holy shit, this movie's amazing. I didn't even know you could tell a story like that at the time. You know? That's, and it still holds up today. I watched it today, and I was like... Well, I, sorry. If I watched it today, I'd be like, oh... This was, <laughs> sorry. That sounded like I watched the movie every day. I think I've seen Fight Club, like, I think maybe five times throughout my whole, my whole entire life. Um, and it's been a while since I watched it. Um, but, uh, like, it, it, it holds up. Yeah, it's, it's a great movie. I have read the book, yeah. Fight Club is one of those movies that people love, but that people say that half the viewers don't get it and just take the plot straight fit. Yeah, like... Spoilers for Fight Club. Alright? Spoilers for Fight Club. You've been warned. Tyler Durden is the bad guy. Alright? Like... And if you, if you don't realize that, then you haven't really understood the movie. And that's fine if you, like, watch it again or you, or you like, you mature a little bit. Like... But there's a lot of people that don't realize that, you know? Like... Yes, I have a Tyler Durden tattoo. No, you cannot see it, you know? Like... Uh-oh. Well, who made this then? How did it get into this position?
it's the same thing with okay okay there's two parallels between these two two excellent movies both made by david fincher both based off banger books by extremely talented writers it's the same thing for gone girl gone girl is for 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 a lot of women what fight club is for a lot of men okay like and again spoilers for for gone girl in the same way that i, that I just said for spoilers for 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 fight club in gone girl Amy is the bad guy, okay? Like, Amy is the bad guy. And a lot of women don't realize that. <laughs> Just like a lot of men. I mean, a little sexist here, sorry. A lot of men don't realize Tyler Durden is the bad guy. A lot of women really idolize Amy in that book and movie in the same way that a lot of people idolize Tyler Durden in Fight Club. Um, you'd be surprised how many do. Um, like, there's... I think Tyler Durden gets a lot more uh, 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 undeserved love than than Amy does, but you'd be surprised, especially in the book. In the book, uh, there's a passage that is one of the best written passages that I've ever read um, that resonates with a lot of people. I think a lot of women, especially, about being a cool girl. And that just, like, made a lot of people just love her forever, no matter what she does. When I can understand why. It's also in the movie, but it's better in the book. It's just like Breaking Bad. Uh, excuse me. Walter White did nothing wrong. Skylar is a bitch white, I disagree. Maybe those runes can give us a bit of history about this place. Have you watched Better Call Saul? It is. No, I don't watch bad shows. What did it say? Ash to ash, bones to bones, where love cannot live, death takes hold. Here are the words of Prince Dagger. My spear drips righteous. The time has come, and so have I. The sky is blue and so <laughs> and red from the blood of, of that cad. King Helgi, my father, in his wisdom, denied him the hand of my sister, Princess Sigrun, knowing his true and dark nature. Enraged by this slight, King Helgi gathered his forces and invaded our land, determined to claim his bride. His murderous soldiers dipped their swords into the hearts of all who opposed their clean, uh, unclean union. Excuse me. Mother, father, all my brothers hunted down and slaughtered, all because he was denied my fair sister. Um, you are the asshole? That was his kingdom, his rules? What the hell? What's wrong with you? The only male of my line left standing. I impaled the villain Helgi on my spear, did my duty, and avenged my father. F avenged my family. I'm giving this an everyone sucks here. I have not seen a single episode of Better Call Saul. I heard it's great, though. I will watch it eventually. Oh, yeah, that's the one. Wait, wasn't that a heavy in, uh... Oh, it is a heavy. Oh, okay, yeah, I like that one. That's the one I used in 2018. I really like that one. Okay. It's quick. It does a lot of damage. And you're right back to, uh, to doing, to doing your shit. Okay, by him, literally Ryan Gosling from Drive 2011. Anyone else think that Drive is one of the most overrated pieces of shit that was ever a movie? That's a bad movie. That's a bad movie. Just a really bad movie. Does that look like part of a key to you? Perhaps it's the other half of the treasury key. Now that we've made the key whole again, we should head back to the treasury. See what fortunes await inside. Just don't get it. The car is the bad guy. The car is the bad guy. Sorry.
Okay, that, that's those, right? Not a raven? Yeah, we got all the ravens. Okay. Overrated, maybe bad, just how I was bored pretty much the whole time. It honestly, there's major parts of that movie where it it comes across like Ryan Gosling had narration and they just forgot to put it in the final cut. The amount of fucking times that he is just staring silently at nothing. Like it honestly, like, like what is this? Like, even if you- Oh, he's just a quiet type. Okay, but do we need to hear the silence? But it's amazing when he drives. True, true, yep, yeah, true. Can't deny that. He is an amazing driver. I would- I would just be denying reality if that was the case. Have you seen Blade Runner 2049? Yes, not only have I watched it. Not only have I watched it. I enjoyed it more than the original. Alright, I thought we were supposed to turn, like, like, wake this up. I guess not. Can I hear your take on Tenant? Uh, much like the dialogue in the movie, you cannot. Just because he couldn't have her. Only her brother, Prince Dogger, survived to kill the Mad King. He killed her family? He said he loved her. He wished to possess her. It is not the same. Oh, and all the time Seaton and I spent with each other, she never mentioned anything about this. <laughs> I probably didn't want you to think of her that way. You know? Probably Nolan's worst movie that I've seen. What what Christopher Nolan movies have I seen? Christopher Nolan. All right, let's see. Christopher Nolan has made some movies. He has made Following. Um, haven't seen Following. Memento. That movie's great. Insomnia. Haven't seen. Batman Begins. Eh, it was all right. The Prestige. Pretty good. The Dark Knight. Pretty good. Inception. Pretty good to pretty great. Dark Knight Rises, pretty good. Interstellar, very much enjoyed it, but it was fucking dumb. Dunkirk, haven't seen. Tenant, that was a movie. Oppenheimer, have it. that's not out yet, so I haven't seen that. Sorry, don't hold it against me. Rating all the Batman movies the same. Okay, let me upgrade Dark Knight Rises then. Sorry, no, the Dark Knight to... Pretty good to pretty great, all right? That's the best one of the three, clearly. However, the whole speech at the end where he's going like, you know, he's the hero, not the hero we need, the hero we deserve right now. I'm tired of pretending to understand what that means, and I'm just gonna start criticizing it instead. That's just fucking nonsense, okay? Like, what what does that whole section even mean? Just just fuck it. Like, seriously, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired of pretending I'm tired of pretending to know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, what's up? <laughs> Brother, I've been meaning to ask. Your homeland. I'd heard the gods there wielded every flavor of power you could imagine. Lightning, fire, the whole lot. As did I, for many years. Oh, any chance you could recall some of that magic? No. No. 
I have tried. Freya said magic is bound to the earth. When your homeland died, your powers probably went with it. Ah, uh, well, probably for the best. Let the past stay in the past and all that. Hmm. There's the treasury. With those keys we found, we should be able to get into the vault. <laughs> Tenant was kind of dumb, but some of the effects were cool, but the dialogue's pretty bad. The whole main part in the movie doesn't make any sense whatsoever, and that kind of dragged it down for me. And then the visual effects that they did with that cool part of, of the movie, like, there's a lot of shitty fucking plot holes and nonsense for this cool effect that they didn't even really use that well, I think. Um, there were some parts in the middle of the movie that were kind of neat. The car chase part was, was, was fun, but the final scene, the big climax of the movie, that was just complete nonsense. Just like, I couldn't even tell what the fuck was going No one could tell what was going on. No one could hear it. No one could see it. Um, it made me like Robert Pattinson as an actor though. So I guess there's that. I, I don't, I don't even understand the, the end of that. Like, like visually, I don't understand. There was something else wrong with it, too, with, uh... I can't remember the actor's name. Um, the main bad guy. Uh, his, his motivations and everything were just kind of, kind of messed up. Uh, but Inception's pretty good. Have you seen The Lighthouse? I have not seen The Lighthouse, no, but I want to. Joe, opinion on The Cake Night Rises? It's so good. Such, such a good movie. Favorite kids movie? The kids don't really watch movies. The only thing they've watched is they've watched Shrek and they've watched The Lion King. And that that's a tough choice between those two, man. Like, The Lion King is pretty special to me, but, you know, now the dialogue reeks of Marvel shit. Uh, Shrek is a... Shrek is a banger. Shrek is a great movie. Although, it's not the best Shrek movie. Shrek 2 is better. He looks important. The part, the part, Christopher Nolan, take note, the end of Shrek 2, when they're playing I Need a Hero as they're storming the castle, is one of the, and I say this unironically, okay, I'm not kidding, that whole sequence is one of the best fucking climaxes in cinema history, like, I'm not kidding, I'm not exactly, that, that whole section is just non-stop, balls to the wall, like, wonderful, okay? Like, Christopher Nolan, take note. Fucking Shrek 2. What a great movie. Look out! Great movie. Let's practice. Take the move. Okay, I don't know how to do that. Let me practice again later. I wish there was a place I could practice. Music kicking in. There's a place you can practice where the ravens are. Nah, there's not. I I, I would know that. I went there. Here rests Prince Dogger. Wait, Prince Dogger. Wasn't that Seagrin's brother, the one who killed her boyfriend, Huggy? Aye, he was. I too read the lore entry. So when's Seagram gonna show up and be a character that I can press square to make her spit out something? Are you 
certain you want to read this? No, brother. You do it. Mm. It's... There was never a love as passionate and sordid as the one that took root between fair princess Sigrun and the foreign king Helgi. Helgi begged for her hand, but Sigrun's father, King Hogni, refused. And so Helgi raised a terrible army and descended upon her land, murdering all who opposed their union. King, queen, princess, all lay dead, all except for Sigrun's... What was that on the bottom there? Oh, it's just a visual effect. All except for Sigrun's brave brother, Prince... Star so, so, hold on. You're not going to let me marry her, so I'm going to kill her? Valiant Dagger took his spear and ran it through Mad King Helgi. When the princess discovered her lover dead by her brother's hand, rage blinded her. Okay, and she did inflict a curse on him most foul. But as her vision returned and she saw her entire family dead, she realized her mistake. It was too late. The curse on her brother had taken hold. From the depths of grief came heartbreaking regret and it, and it overwhelmed her. In penance for her sins, she cast off her riches title and throne to dedicate her mind body and soul to the mighty valkyries a vow she did she did make to tuck her heart away for her love was too dangerous okay so you're seeking put a curse on her brother for killing the mad king no truly she did not know the mad king had murdered her family once she did it was too late she had cursed her brother that is why she joined the valkyries to atone Mimir, you okay? Yes, lad. Funny. Learning all this only makes me love her more. She chose me despite my flaws, my regrets. Knowing she has some of her own makes me feel closer to her. I am glad to hear it. And yet she didn't come rescue you? Wow. Did you see Mick Gordon's story? I saw parts of it. It seemed kind of fucked up. I feel bad for the guy. I missed being in the stream, but I heard they put Fenrir's spirit in Gar into Garm's body. Why did they do that? It was the only way to stop him rampaging. I think the original idea was that we put a soul in his body and then we can kill him because he was uh, a mortal without a soul. Which seems like a, you know, big plot hole to me. Like, seems like there's a, well not plot hole, but like a, a big a big problem to me. Let's make a bunch of soulless warriors that can never die. There we go. We have an, an unstoppable army. Um, and then it turned out that Fenrir's, Fenrir took over the big wolf, so. Now there's just a big wolf at home somewhere, but we can't find him. Okay, that's it. That's all that's up here. It's interesting the slight differences in dialogue that happen depending on your companion. Yeah, because we could be here with, um, with Freya right now, right? Ah, there we go. It was a decoy decoy. So, these are the Valiant schematics, eh? You know of them. Aye, one of the most gifted dwarven smiths around. Until he developed a conscience, anyhow. Okay, is that it? Are we done? Seems like we're done. Okay. All right, so we did 86% here. So what are we missing? There's something in Sanctuary Grove, although I don't know how we get there. Uh, there's a couple undiscovered and an artifact that we missed over here somewhere. Um, so another undiscovered and an artifact over here. All right. So this area is pretty much pretty much you done. All right. So let's go. Should we go to Niflheim and see if we can open another chest? Alfheim visitor plot development. We're going to do plot after this.
One second, I'm gonna take a Tylenol for my back because my back is hurting again and I'm a wuss about it today. Normally I don't take painkillers. How long are we going to go for? About two hours, I think. Do you plan to put the rest of the Zero Escape vids on your second channel? Eventually, yeah, they'll all go up. Massive area of effect that deals damage to all enemies within an extremely large area. Oh, I remember that one. That one sucks. Yeah, I remember trying to do that against uh, Seagrun in, in God of War 2018, and she laughed at me and killed me. Yeah, that one sucks. Probably good against um, packs of uh, mobs, though. Acolyte of Odin's very secretive. Trusted with his dirtiest deeds. Never met him myself. Well, one of them is the Eyes of Odin. There's an Eyes of Odin here somewhere. Alright, it doesn't look like it's that one. The side quest is the Eyes of Odin, is that what it means? So no head? Oh! A spear went in there, that's cool. One more chest. I tried to open the chest, it won't let me. There's one here, I missed it. Locked. No, they're both locked. Oops, sorry, it's okay. Wait, can I scroll back to the beginning of the broadcast? Uh, I think you have to go into the recording section on it. You can't do that while while watching uh, live, I don't think. it's. I think you can do that on YouTube, but you can't do it um, here. All right, so we're going to Vanaheim. All right. Travel to Vanaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. Any plans on playing Amori? No current plans for Amori, no. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forget. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. 
Ooh, it's a Grimace button. Gotta sneeze, buddy. Oh, wow, that took a while for loading. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? Yes. Do 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 do. That barricade wasn't there last time. Fair's group has been busy. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Opinions on Neo? I like it a lot. Then. Time to see how the Vanier have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Against my better judgment, I even streamed it. I have not played the second one for more than, like, I don't know, an hour or so. But it's felt like more of the same. The Neo's pretty good. Is this main story? This is main story. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where's my boat? Oh, we're back. That was easy. Wasted. Elder Ring and God of War Ragnarok are both games of significance this year, but why did God of War warrant to stream on launch yet yeah, you have never streamed Elden Ring? Um, because I streamed all of God of War before, and there was already like a link to streaming with the God of War 2018 and also um, the previous God of War games, so it felt right to stream it. Uh, I don't usually stream any Souls likes because it just doesn't really feel like a good time. Usually I have to bash my head against a bunch of shit, and that doesn't sound like the, the best time. Um, also, Souls fans tend to be obnoxious as fuck about anything, so just didn't want to put myself there. Also, it was just, um, I knew it was going to be quite a long game. Uh, this ended up being longer too, and I wanted to be able to binge through it. Because I had the plan to try and make the video on it too, so I wanted to be able to just like go, go as hard on it as I possibly could. Whether or not it was a mistake or not to, to stream it, like, I don't know. You would have gotten backseated to hell and back in the other ring? Yeah, probably. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. I bless the rains of Vanaheim. I bless the rains. Words of from a traditional Vanaheim song in Greece. The rain served as a reminder to worship the gods. Do the people of these lands worship the rain alongside the gods? Alongside their gods, sorry. Are you still planning? Are you still playing through the campaign in in this game? Yeah, this is the campaign right now. Where this is the main quest. We're doing the main, the main quest right now. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Favorite moment so far? Uh, the Thor fight at the beginning. How long was the Elden Ring critique video turnaround? I know it's quicker than normal. Um, it took the experiment was a total failure. It took me way longer. I think it, I wanted again. I wanted like two days to write the script, two days to record it, two days to um to uh to make the video. I got sick when I started writing, so that pushed it back. But I think it still took me longer. 
than two days to write it. I got it recorded in two days, and then the video process took so much longer than than two days. Just just an insane amount of time for for um for the video process. Uh, I fussed with it a lot. It was hard to find a lot of the footage because it was a big open world game, and I had like so many like I think I had over a hundred hours of footage. Um, yeah, it was it was. I, I also had like I went back and played a bunch of the old games for it too. Like I played through uh, Dark Souls as well. Bit of Sekiro, um, so yeah. Um, I don't know if I can. I need to learn to to fuss less with with the video par portion and also um, uh, having everything match perfectly. Why don't you set a two week timetable? Because I want to see what what I can do with the slowest. Sorry, slowest with the least amount of time. Like maybe a two-week time table would be better, but that's still quite a, quite a big investment when I'm going to be streaming at the same time. Like, I don't know. I'm still playing with the format and see what I, what kind of videos I can do. I don't feel like the Elden Ring video like suffered from a lack of quality, though. If I had a lot of time, I, that probably is what the video would have been, still. So, in that respect, it was a success. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? Kratos. Atreus. Oh, it's Vanier Archer. Welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man. Or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, fish-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hilda Spini. Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Wait, what? Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. <laughs> we can head out whenever you're ready. All right. Where are you going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. The AI writer strikes again, and then the AI generator decided that the boar from the from the first game would turn into a person in this game. And so Santa Monica said, Hallowed be thy AI. Praise to the AI generator. Whatever it says we shall do. Where is Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leaves it was said in the beginning that the boar was an enchanted person, no need to mold. Okay, first of all, I'm not molding. No one's molding. Second of all, I don't remember that, so because I don't remember it, it doesn't exist. Third of all, even if it is true, doesn't mean that they have to come back as a character. It's not that bad, though. It just kind of feels like it's coming out of nowhere. At least I assume. Not easy. Tracking a child with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. Worth the moon. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skull and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Very, Freya very mentioned well. you had a way past this. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their dead. Good luck. Oh, how do we get past this? Help. 
No. Kind of weird that he went into boar form. I think it, it's a, what he just said. It, my understanding is that he didn't choose to be a boar. Is that he was when he was banished, he was stuck in boar form. Does that mean Freya went and got him? Was the spell tied with him too? I hope she's looking after her turtle then. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> I think he's really forgiven me for shooting him. Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Hmm? Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Have you ever heard someone use it very well in real life? I don't think so. Maybe I'm gonna start. Very rare, very rare. Join as family. Very rare. Oh, you're, uh... Your antlers don't blow. Yeah, so you just you just can't parry that. Okay, so that's that's just completely fucked. Okay, wow, that's a that's a pretty bad oversight, man. Like those shouldn't be yellow. Okay, that you can parry. I'm guessing. Yep. different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfan, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Mm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. Don't you understand every language? I guess he needs time for it. Whatever. Who's gonna tell him he mistimed it? Are you saying that like who who's gonna come forward and troll and say he mistimed it, or do you think that I mistimed it? Because it's possible I mistimed it and you can't parry it, but it's still broken because it was yellow attack and it let me block it. You can't you can't block a yellow attack. You can only parry it. So it should have knocked me into a stun state. So it's broken no matter what. He can only read other languages. Okay. He probably also needs time. It's, it's fine. I'm just being a shitter. I'm curious to know your opinion on how long it's been taking FromSoft to announce Elden Ring DLC. Usually by November, they release their first wave. Well, two things are possible. One, they're not going to do DLC. 
Um, well, three things are possible. You know what? A lot of things are possible. Uh, they're not. Maybe they're not going to do DLC. Maybe that's just it. Um, secondly, maybe they weren't going to do DLC, but now the game is uh, is a smash hit. So they're like, hell yeah, we're going to do DLC. Um, or it's just taking longer than they thought. They always plan to do DLC. Um, you know. I'm sure more than that is possible too. Find the locust. It's making these things stronger. How do you know that? going on i suddenly feel like really tanky and i'm doing a lot more damage what's going on here like i'm able to out dps the knock and heal what's going on i went up a level i didn't go up a level i'm still i'm still level five i'm still level five i'm getting better no i don't think that's it i can't get better at taking damage the red knock and don't heal. Oh, they don't heal. Oh, okay. What do the red knock and do? Hey, no, you are. We're here. Stay alert. Wonder where they went. Eaten by a knock and perhaps. Doubtful. It makes them do more damage. Oh, okay. Going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyer's camp. Hmm. Has Brock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Linda yet. Who's Linda? An old contemporary of the Hulder brothers. She serves as Freyer's blacksmith, keeping his team. Ooh, that's cool. Too bad I don't have uh, enough experience points to, to put it to upgrade it and try. Another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what? Oh, she's not a weeb then. Okay. I kind of hope there is an Elden Ring DLC for purely selfish reasons, because then I'm going to have to make something on it, and then I'm going to have to deal with the throwing knife conglomerate, and I don't really want to deal with that shit. It's so fucking stupid. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanai means you've now visited each of the nine realms. Oh. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. So does Vini said both Frey and Bigbeer were captured. Bigbeer is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. 
But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. Hope he's okay. Mimir is the talking head that's hanging off of Kratos' belt. You can see him in the bottom left of the screen right now. Um, if you don't know that, you probably don't know what this game is. These games are pretty good, so you might not want to watch the stream. But, you know, if you want to see what the combat's like or whatever, that's fine too. What do you mean by that? The throwing knife conglomerate? Um, so there's a, a... I don't know how many people are in this group, but... There's a, a fairly sized or a fairly vocal group of people that think that you can't criticize Elden Ring unless you use literally every single kind of mechanic that's in the game. I don't know if that is um, uh, misrepresenting their position. Maybe they don't think of it as everything, but that's the impression I get from the comments that I've received and the DMs and shit. Um, that, you know, like... It's it's like a it's like a, a race to the bottom. It's like okay, well I think that the game d didn't really do much in this regard. It's like okay, but did you do this? It's like well, well yeah I did. It's like okay, well well did you use spirit summons? And it's like well no I didn't. Well well that's why you didn't like it. They're a part of the game. You're supposed to be using spirit summons. Well okay well shit. Like what if I don't like spirit summons? And I I say throwing knife conglomerate because apparently, the way I was playing the game, um which was like melee only no magic no summons no spirit no ash spirit all that sort of shit um and trying to to beat the bosses just by learning their patterns uh one of the criticisms i had was that there was a lot of dead time where you can't safely attack the boss some bosses and the big response to that has been that consumables are there to fill those times and if you know if you use throwing knives it will you can do some damage to the boss, but also that can also trigger the AI to do an attack that you can then punish, that sort of thing. And I just think that's just a completely batshit band-aid to put on a game that is in a... It's not in the Dark Souls series, but it's definitely in the, in the Souls area. You know, it's practically Dark Souls 4 in all but name. And um, I just don't think that's a good counter-argument to the boss design that they went with. But if you like that, if you like that, that's fine. It really is. Like, it's not like, oh, that's that's not a legitimate way to play. It, it absolutely is a legitimate way to play. But saying something like, oh, Millennia's attack that is very difficult to, to play around is fine because you can just throw a frost pot in her face whenever she does it and that makes her stop. This is not a good counter-argument. I'm sorry. It's just fucking not. Like, and to, to say that it is, is really fucking dumb. IMO. Using that is not dumb, but dismissing criticism of the game with that is dumb. Hey, there you are, barricades. Aye, not a good sign. They've pushed farther into the jungle since our last visit. You're a fucking moron in my subjective opinion. I'd respect that, yeah. That's fine. Damn.
How do you feel about God of War now that you're deeper in the game? Um, it feels like more of 2018, just with a couple of enhancements that are welcome, but I don't think they went far enough with increasing uh, the combat. It is better, it is improved, and I'm enjoying it, but I'm not, I'm not loving the combat. Although I am very much enjoying the boss fights, so... If there's a few more really great boss fights left, then uh, I'm probably going to feel pretty positive about it by the end. Alright. Just not heavy enough, apparently. Alright, this seems like a pretty place, good place to stop for five minutes. I'm going to go pee, and I'll come back, and then we'll go for another... Um, I don't know hour and a half maybe hour at least and then we will stop it there so i'll be right back this game has been such a treat to play and an even bigger treat to watch you play i can't think of any other game in the past 20 years that blends gameplay story writing characters and atmosphere so perfectly i hope more game devs learn from this and we get more games like god of war ragnarok like we did for the souls games i would say this is a must-have experience of unparalleled quality what a time to be alive we are in a golden age of gaming Glad you liked it. Do not worry about me. Um, what just happened? I looked away. I didn't even see what killed me. Gatsby, do you mind? Gatsby, do you mind? Gatsby! Oh. The game is pretty good. Wow. Alright, let's go for it. Okay, it's like on the swing. It's like adding, it feels very similar to, um, oh shit. What is it in Devil May Cry 4 when you have the, you have to time the button press to rev up the blade when you hit? It feels kind of like that. Would you say it's on par with the original? Is it a worthy sequel? Um, it really feels like part two of the first game. So in that respect, absolutely, yeah, it's on par with the original and worthy of sequel. But in terms of like, like blowing it out of the water and from expectations, um, I would say no. <laughs> told us Ragnarok begins when Skull and Hati catch the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess. <sighs> Excuse me. What difficulty am I on? I'm on the fourth easiest difficulty. Will the video be titled God of War Ragnarok? Almost kind of a masterpiece, but not really. No, I'm, I'm getting away from the whole masterpiece thing. I think Elden Ring will be the last time I ever have masterpiece in the title, unless the title is game name is a masterpiece, you know? Yeah. 
Was C one of them? It was. All right, so where's the other one? This time for sure. All right, where's the other one? That one was there, and it's F. Further to the left? That one's a little hard to see. Not very hard to see, just a little hard to see. Look for blue. I don't see it. That's the one I already did. Aha! Joe, will you look up synonyms for masterpiece for your future video? Nah, that sounds like work. is hurting more right now. God damn it. I was sitting in an armchair. I was like sunken into the armchair looking at something on my phone. And then what I when I got up I just lurched up way too fast. I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their dad. Excited to meet school and hearty lad. I mean I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least it shouldn't fail to entertain. Not looking forward to getting old. I don't think this is age related actually. I've only pulled my back twice in my whole entire life. I have damaged it a little bit now and then, but um, the first time I ever pulled my back, I was in my early 20s and I, I lifted something up and I would just, you know, I know to lift from your knees. I even knew it back then, but I just had a lapse in judgment and I tried to lift something from my back, not realizing how heavy it was, and I just pulled my back hard. And like, that was, that's how I feel kind of now. Just maybe not as bad as it was back then. That, that was the worst time I ever pulled my back. That was like 21, 22. Hold on, yeah, I'm 37. Just 37 in one day. Back pain and tooth pain are the worst two kinds of pain, IMO. Although I've had, I think I've had some cluster headaches recently, and those are, those hurt a lot. But maybe they're just migraines. Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial oh, yeah. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. We're gonna find the moon? Aww. Gatsby's still bigger. Clusters are also known as suicide migraines, so if that's what you had, I emphasize, holy shit. Thankfully, they're very, very short-lived. They only, it's like a pounding pain that escalates with each, like, thump, 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 and then it kind of subsides. If that just kept increasing and increasing and increasing and it lasted for, like, 10 minutes to an hour, I can definitely see why they're called suicide headaches, because holy shit. The Aenar Yar played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box. If memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. 
It feels like there's a little Kratos inside your skull that's trying to punch his way out of the part ab above your uh, one of your eyes. That's what it feels like for me. And he's getting increasingly more angry with each punch. So besides Hilda's Feeney and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much <laughs> army, really. What will Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Oh. That's like a type of person, Traveler. Do you think Outer Wilds hit the upper limit for expo an exploration-based game, ignoring the few bugs you found, like Moon Clip? Absolutely not, no. I think there's. I think you can do much more than Outer Wilds, and I'm looking forward to what they do next to prove it. Um, the Outer Wilds DLC uh, demonstrated that it wasn't a fluke, and they have lots of ideas they want to explore. <laughs> That's the peak of the medium currently, though, I think. Ain't out of your head. I'm ready. <laughs> Possible banavator monitoring. Okay, thank you, Twitch chat. What AI bullshit is this? Found me. Jesus Christ, that's Jason Bourne. Careful, brother. You're coming in by God. Have you watched the video where Kratos VA, VA making dad jokes? I don't think I've seen that one, no. That sounds funny. Finally, a new enemy. It's a trap. Mm, fitting. Verdant. The Vanier acknowledge the abundance of their realm, but the need to write it down is redundant. The beauty of Anaheim speaks for itself. Okay. <laughs> No one's here. They hide. The Vanier aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. I didn't come here for that, I came here for the bird. Where's the bird? Yeah, why does Kratos want to recover the moon? Would that increase the risk of Ragnarok? I gotta be super honest with you. I actually don't know. I kind of feel like I'd 
I, I don't really know what we're doing right now apart from helping Freya. I guess maybe Freya is out doing that, so we're just like, whatever, I guess we'll help. I don't I don't really know what we're doing right now. Oh, you used the spear instead. That's okay, nice. Here we go. Oh, there's the bird. Oh, no, it's not the bird. Just a leaf. It's definitely over there somewhere, right? Uh, empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. Oh. Uh, is that it? I, I don't know why, but I thought we were gonna go to space. I don't- why- why did I think that? Of course you wouldn't go to space. I- <laughs> How do we get over there? Do we come around the other side? Okay, let's just keep going. Maybe we'll circle circle back or loop back or something. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Nah. Nah, this seems legit. We can get to it from up here. Bad at that. I'm coming. I'm coming. He was hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. That was it? That was the whole... That was the whole ambush? Was there even a new enemy there? I really don't like how much grunting and yelling there's in mid-combat. Don't you find it distracting? Not at all, actually. Maybe it's because I'm playing it. Have you played the game? Because maybe if you played the game, it, it won't bother you. Sometimes when I'm watching okay. something... Um, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Watching them is a very different experience than playing it. Uh, lots of people on Reddit need to learn that. Um, sometimes when I even watch myself play a game, like I I can't follow everything that's going on, and I and I'm aware of different things than you know like like sometimes I'll see myself do something. And I'm like, how did I know that was about to happen? Like it's like you just you just feel out the game as you're playing. Hey! Oh hurry. no! She's getting away. Come on! 
Dun 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 Okay, I to I totally hit him though. I totally hit him though. Like I got him. Oh, damn. Still up there. Another ambush? Really? That time's the charm. There you are. Smart. I understand. Where are these two that I skipped? Any thoughts on the current chaos on Twitter? Not really. I don't really give a shit about Twitter. Twitter is a great place for to go and see people that you respect act like complete fucking children. And, like, it's gotten to the point that I just consider people on Twitter are not themselves. And I try not to hold anything against anyone for what they do on Twitter. It's like, whatever happens on Twitter stays on Twitter. Like... Like, seriously, you see people on YouTube. I don't know if this goes for me, too. Maybe it does. Maybe the format is just that intoxicating. But you see people on YouTube and even on stream, and they're just so, like, mild-mannered. And they're like, yeah, we need to respect other people. And, you know, the, the, the best thing we can do in reality right now is make sure that we're always making people feel comfortable expressing their opinions or anything. And then you'll see them on Twitter be like, you like, you think pudding's better than, than chocolate? You, you're a fucking dumbass. Oh, my God, I fucking hate you. Like, quote, quote, T, uh, you know, some guy at all over, like, across the world being like, look, at this guy hate on him let me brigade the brigade the fuck out of him like just the shit you will see people do on twitter is insane so if it's gonna burn then let it burn Just brings out the worst in people. What we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hathi Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Can't we go yes. the other way? I remember the prophecy. So, all right, that's the way. You worried? That's the way. Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Whoa, what is that? <sighs> A wyvern, nasty beast. Careful, lads. <laughs> That's what happens when you're surrounded by yes men. I don't think that's the case. I think that that Twitter is just, just the breeding ground for. I think the biggest. Okay, let's get a little political, and then we'll, and then we'll get away from it. Okay, I think the biggest problem that society has right now is that people will dehumanize the, their enemy, and that dehumanization of of the other side, 
uh, and everyone seems to be doing this, um, is... Okay, when I say everyone seems to be doing this, that doesn't mean... That's not a centrist take, you know what I mean? I'm not a centrist. I'm very much more on the left than I am, like, in the center or the right in terms of the political spectrum. Sorry to burst that bubble for anybody. Um, but everyone does that, though, and they dehumanize the opposition. And I know I do it sometimes, too. Um, and we see it... You can go online right now and see it happen with so many different groups and, and, and people. Um, and it's really tricky when someone holds an opinion that you find so abhorrent that you feel justified in dehumanizing them because they might have an opinion that they think that a group that you belong to doesn't deserve to be alive or something like that. And that to you might be like, okay, well, that's a really good reason to dehumanize them. However, I don't think anyone comes to those kind of places on their own. And I don't think anyone comes to those kind of positions in a healthy way and dehumanizing them just makes it worse. And that's a really hard thing to say to people, um, especially when a lot of them might not even really hold the opinion. They just might be having an opinion that they think, you know, they identify with because it lets them fit in with a group or something like that. And Twitter, in my experience, is just the perfect place to see people just dehumanize the other side, whatever that other side is, and will just lay into them with some of the most horrendous vile behavior that you will ever see and still want to be championed and celebrated for it and that's what i don't like about twitter what is that now oh, i'm on nasty beast uh, careful lives uh, 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 so let it burn Oh man, that was a good stone throw. Oh, that was easy. Are you kidding me? Okay. It's cold. Is this? It's from Helheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Uh, I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. I just get discredited for having an anima anime profile pic, so everything I say is ignored. That's deserved, to be honest. Yeah, I agree with that. All right, maybe Twitter's not all so bad. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the giant said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. Yeah! All right. Got some backfast on you. Be careful. What's worse, Reddit or Twitter? Twitter, and it's not even close. 
I don't know if Twitter has value in small groups, but Reddit has a lot of value. The the more niche the discussion group is, like the smaller the subreddit, but as long as it's active, the much better Reddit becomes. Um, I don't know if there's that kind of thing on Twitter, but like if Twitter is just all fun and games and you're just like like having jokes and everything and you just keep it light and you don't discuss anything serious, Twitter's probably great. But um, Reddit, the smaller the subreddit, the better the re-experience you're going to have on Reddit, I think. Unless you, the experience you want is cringe. Because if you want to go cringe, go go to Am I the Asshole and enjoy all the creative writing exercises. But they're still fun as like, if this were real, how would you judge it, you know? <laughs> But what if do you... by doing all this, what if we're walking straight into Ragnarok? Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement? I don't remember. Can we go over it again? Do you think any of the stories on Am I the Asshole are real? Well, I want to say no, but then the other day I saw someone post on Pix, just became a father Reddit, here's the first time I'm holding my baby, and I was like, I can't imagine, I can't imagine holding my child for the first time and thinking, I need to share this moment with Reddit. That's where my priorities are. That's what I want to do. So I, I want to say that all the stories on I'm I the Asshole are fake, but... Oh, look, you could twirl the, the, the banner thing around. Oh, look at that. Oh, cool. Um, but I guess some of them are, because apparently some people have something important happen to them, and they go to Reddit, and they want to they wanna know something. You know, they want feedback. But almost all of them are fake. Oh, have we looped around? Yeah, it looks like we've looped around. Do you think 4chan green texts are true? Every single one of them. Every single one of them. Three for free. Three for free. does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives, so be it. I'm a 28-year-old man that wants to be a dad someday. Anything especially heartwarming to look forward to in fatherhood? Um, a lot. What kind of specifics are you looking for? That's a very broad question. Being a dad's fucking awesome. You will likely experience this moment where with, with your child, especially when they get older. You probably won't experience it when they're a baby because it's it's very hard to, to see intent from a baby. But when they when they get a little older, you will feel more loved than you ever have in your whole entire life. And you will feel more love for them as well. But if you're talking about like heartwarming for you on your end, you know, like you will at one point your child will make you feel like just so, so loved, you know, like you are so important in this child's life, you know, that sort of thing. Um, seeing a lot of your seeing a lot of your best traits in them as well, but also seeing some of your some of your bad traits. Um, is a, is a very interesting experience. Um, I'm trying to think of how to, how to word something, but maybe I can't do it. Uh, 
there's a lot of there's a lot of love and I think this is a positive feeling but some people may disagree there's a lot of there's a lot of love in realizing that like you would jump in front of a moving train to to save this being from harm you know like that's that's a very profound realization and it happens pretty much instantly if it doesn't happen instantly, that's okay. Like s some people need some time to adjust and uh, depending on how the birth goes, you may be completely shell-shocked and you might not even be fully present. Like people react to stress in different ways. Um, but, you know, just, just knowing that you would do pretty much anything for this person that you've made is, is, is quite a, sh a strong emotion to put it lightly. And I think that's pretty heartwarming. You know, it gives your life a lot of focus. I changed. I became a very, very different person uh, when I became a father. Um, I think that the only times that people can ever change, like ever truly change in, in, in ways that matter, like you can change in little ways. You'd be like, oh, you know what? I woke up today. I've decided I didn't really like catch up with my French fries anymore. I like mustard. Okay. That's a little change. Like having a big, big behavioral change, the kind of change that otherwise you'd have to go through like, like cognitive behavioral therapy for um, having a big behavioral change, I think can only truly come from, from a big event and a big event like um the death of a parent uh the birth of a child uh a big milestone birthday usually when you tick up a decade um that sort of thing a, a big illness or getting over an illness or getting getting a cancer scare diagnosis it turns out not to be true you know those those kind of big events i think those are the only things that can really actually truly change a person and they're outside of that you have to be like fully devoted to the idea of changing and even then like change requires change in that case it's kind of like a like a a catch-22 um yeah and i changed a lot when i became a parent for the better you know so for, in my case i highly recommend it but yeah that said one second sorry this is really important that said do not have a kid <laughs> Do not have a kid just so <laughs> you will change and be a better person. Okay? Don't do that. <laughs> but you may, if you're in the right place, um, uh, you, uh, you might find that having a kid does change you for the better. Okay? <laughs> Nothing. That's no moon. inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. That's fucking cool. Good choice, lad. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Oh, it's a spirit summon. Time for a tutorial? Here we go. That scene costs five million dollars. Oh, 
Oh, this time it is interrupt. Okay. I think that's what we're supposed to use it for. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of Dusk Hill Dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hodas Fini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. Back to the reality. Oops, there goes gravity. Come back fast, but not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. Oh, so maybe Odin has tapped into the soul of stuff. Okay, I'm going to have to pay real close attention when I replay this part, because I feel like I missed something. I don't really know why we're doing what we're doing right now, other than we're here and we're just following breadcrumbs about what Freya's doing. This is getting out of hand. Big troll vibes. Alright, we can do this, boy. We can do this. Here we go, here we go. Two arrows, two arrows, two arrows. Okay, here you go, here you go. You can do it. Oh, you only have one arrow. Boy, boy, you need two. We just did this for you. need two. Two arrows, two arrows. Do it, do it, do it. Two arrows. Two arrows. It's still one. Still, what are you doing? Atreus, Atreus. 
Atreus, you need two. I can't keep doing this forever, boy. Do two. Two. No, it's still one. It's still one. It's not gonna work. Okay, remember what you said? Remember you have to trust him. Maybe one's enough. One's enough. One's enough. Here we go. Alright. Oh, wait. Two. Three. They like the egros. <laughs> Ooh, we finally have a heavy runic for the spear. Pearl dropped near to the sky, raining down multiple multiplying spears. That looks like fun. That was a fight. I agree, it was hilarious. We can get across from up so we report back to Hilda Spini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the light elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sure. But if that mask offers all the answers, then we surely accept the price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Literally took a shortcut to the Norns for knowledge, but okay. I mean, he didn't really want to, but yeah. Missed an item? What do you mean? I didn't miss an item. There's an undiscovered back there. He's also giving dadly do as I say, not as I do advice. That's my best kind of advice. I'm really good at that. Do all the plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the canapsis ones. The what? Oh. So at night these are gone. Is there like a... Is there like a daytime one that we were walking through before? Alright. Dayman. Fighter of the night, man. Are we almost there? That looks cool. <gasps> All right, where's the boring guy? Who's that? Ah, that wrinkly mug belongs to Helka. She's a blossom duck. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bela's already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Oh, back to Sir. All right. Just but thirty heartbeats. That's enough. Once you see the signal, calm it down. Come, Kratos. We should get moving. Oh, hi. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cute pie. Should have seen him a couple winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. Y'all change the ding dang time of day? Okay, well, that's impressive. What? Oh, when did we get that? These make for a painful way to go. Ooh, we're level six now. That's nice. 
Still no fr Suddenly the, the, the blades are in front of the axe. Oh, is that because we went to Muselheim and got one from Muselheim? You didn't have to do that? How do you feel about Freya's complete face heal turn to liking Kratos again? It feels way too easy. Um, Actually, I don't think so. I, I feel like they earned it. I'm surprised to be saying that, but I kind of feel What's like the they earned it. The woods, the Aesir will be running scared. You know what you want? It felt like it was always going to come back. It was always going to come down to this moment where she would have to do that or she would be able to kill him and realize that she she, she wasn't going to, you know? It, she's always been on this knife edge, you know? Uh, someone in chat said it was an impossible problem and I agree with that. Because she must have known that Balder deserved to die is, is the thing. So yeah, I think uh, I think they they pulled it back as best as they could. Relics. Um, you can upgrade the relic. I wonder if the relic I'm using is kind of shit. I feel like it doesn't give much of rage when I, I'm just using it to refill the rage meter, and it just does fucking like next to nothing. Maybe I should put a different one on. What do I have? Awaken something dormant deep down inside the bearer. All right. It seems important, but doesn't have any practical application in combat. All right, what what, what do you mean? All right, we'll see what it does. I know it's a hot topic for chat, but do you plan on revisiting Silent Hill and playing three and four when you return to streaming again? Uh, I don't think it's a hot topic, a hot topic for chat. Um, playing Silent Hill three and four would be fun. I would like to do it, but it's not on the docket for uh, for for streaming. It wakes the trolls. Oh, does it? Oh, shit. Okay, we're not getting to level 7, so... Um... Throws a Bifrost Chakram that swerves into enemies. Hmm. Uh, I mean, I didn't upgrade it. Maybe when it's on level 3, it, it does a lot of rage. It also applies stun. Yeah, let's just try it. Maybe it's a decent amount of rage. Did you play Metal Gear Rising or Vengeance? Not only did I play it. I streamed it. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. What's this one? Spinning chaos. Oh, let's put let's put a uh, burn. One, two, three, four, five, and then R two at the end. Oh man, it looks cool. Flame Whiplash can be instantly charged by pre when Triangle is pressed momentarily after any Blades of Chaos attack. What? That sounds cool. We're not going to get it, but that sounds cool. Slightly increases scan damage, greatly increases resistance to damage and being staggered during skill. Yeah, we're going to get that one. I like these skill upgrade things. They're really cool. Do you really need such a skill tree or are most useless? Uh, they add like new moves, so they're they're good to unlock. Whether or not that was the best way to do it remains to be seen, but it's not 
the worst thing. I don't really like having a bunch of shit to read when it comes to abilities. I prefer just to like just to push buttons and feel things out. But you know, gave us a sorry. They will answer. Should we call on them? Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einar Yar are holding fair in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. We're small veer. If you if you had small veer soul and put him into big veer, would you get just veer at the end of that? Actually, because they put a giant soul in a normal snake, and now it's becoming giant snake. What what if you put is Fenrir into Garm? Is Garm gonna shrink now? Because Fenrir was a normal wolf. I didn't upgrade Freya. Okay, one second. Sorry. Freya's vine roots root enemies for longer duration. Do I have enough to just upgrade everything? Let's see. When Kratos sends an enemy flying backwards, a square appear, appear a square appears above Freya. If pressed, she dashes toward the enemy and strikes him for high damage. Okay. Yeah, we don't have enough to get everything. All right, not even close. All right, cool. That's Fimble Winter for you. Ooh, we can go get that now. Oh, cause it's nighttime and they go away in the nighttime. All right. When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon, a signal for Vela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesvini slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. This whole section's filler, right? Like, wh wh uh, what are we doing? We're just, this is, we're just doing shit. Stop that whip, brother! Freya's being held in a prison to the north. Follow Freya, brother. Apparently Freya's, Freya's, Freya being held um, is more of a reason to not explore than Atreus being with Odin. Okay. What would you consider to be mature writing, and do you think this game has it? Oh, uh, that's a really tough question. I think this game does have mature writing for the most part, yeah, but... It also has good writing for the most part. I don't think this is a, a poorly written game. It has some poorly written parts, but everything's gonna have some poorly written sections. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't know if I like the term mature writing. I like good writing. Good writing is writing that I like. There you go. <laughs> Just like you want to say something like writing that explores like worthwhile themes that has a message to say, but there's plenty of writing that doesn't have those things that like you can still find very entertaining. And there's nothing wrong with entertainment. You can have like mature entertainment, you know. Oh. 
Odin was made needlessly vulgar. Do you think so? I think Odin's characterization has been pretty good. Is that a bad say? Alright, but I can't shield bash you, so what am I supposed to do? Why is Werewolf in... Why are you friends? more soldiers since our last visit mm. our disadvantages are many just odin casually taking pot shots at kratos in the middle of the serious conversation felt weird mm. i mean it stood out to me too but then i started speculating like is he doing it for a reason the way that they're setting up Odin as like, oh, you know, you can't trust him. He's a liar. He's a manip he's a manipulative. Like, look at all the things he's doing. Like the way that you're feeling sorry for Thor. You, like, after what happened with Thor at the beginning of the game, like you feel sorry for fucking Thor. You know, in those interactions. Um, and I feel like that's intentional with the way that that they spoke about Thor and and Sif earlier with raising their kid differently. Um, like, I'm I think it's building to something. Like, like Odin is trying to manipulate Kratos. He's he's trying to. Look, I wanted peace, I wanted peace, but no, he doesn't. Like, he, he wants Kratos to, to become the god of war and, and have a big fight for whatever reason. Um, at least that's what I think. So, I think it's it's uh, needling him with a purpose, but maybe not. Maybe we're going to get to the end and it's going to be like, actually, no. Where is it? Whoops, wrong button. Oh, it's like hiding in the tree. Oh, did it move after we blew it up? That's neat. Impressive. Oh. 
Oh, it just died from setting off fire? Oh, okay. Alright, so we have to change it to daytime, I'm guessing, to proceed. Dragging the scepter across the bell a few times. Come on, Damon. Cool. What are you doing? The bridge only grows in the daylight. I, I do as I please. I suppose they are grateful for the attention. Okay, you've seen them. Now call that party and let's go. Uh, no lady player. Had any good books lately? Too much filler in this game. <laughs> the music playing every time is such a joke now. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Our actions in this realm follow the prophecy of the giants. Atreus believes Ragnarok is inevitable. The Norns were quite clear on the nature of prophecy. They told us the sum of our choices were predictable. But we have changed, haven't we? Perhaps. Sorry, I thought I heard something. What? Yeah, get out. said you'd kill Heimdall, but you chose not to walk that path. Back when we first met, I doubt you'd have done the same. Uh, I still might. Do you still seek Ragnarok? Odin has much to answer for. If Groa's prophecy is correct, perhaps my realm can finally know peace. Perhaps I can know peace. Forgive me for being a head on a belt, but haven't we all just established how prophecy is pure havers? <sighs> Gods, Mimir. What? The most annoying man alive. Hmm. 
No red at gold. Do you know the combat of Siren Skin compared to the first one? Um, I haven't played the first one since 2018. Uh, I will probably play it again uh, this week. Um, probably on PC, I think. Uh, in terms of tightness, it feels exactly the same. There are more additions to the combat, so it's not exactly the same in every way, but in terms of how it feels to play, like how hits feel when you land them, you know, like the, the consistency in the rules, it feels exactly the same. Why have I got a bunch of what's in the chat? This is surely much better combat. That wasn't the question, though. Like, I think the question was more like how it feels and the controls. And in that regard, they're pretty much identical. Oh, it's about the dialogue. Okay. I also think this game has better combat because it has more options and more enemy variety and more boss variety. But um, they feel very... Very close. It wasn't a jump like 2016 to Doom Eternal. Yeah, exactly. Man, Doom Eternal's so good. Should we stream the DLC one day? I heard it's much harder and I don't want to embarrass myself. I was pretty good at Doom Eternal and now people think I'm good at games. So, you know, I like to keep it that way. Did you see how IGN Korea called Ragnarok a DLC pack of 2018? They probably said that so people would talk about IGN Korea. That's bullshit. It's clearly more than that. But it does feel like part two of an experience. It's like they had one experience um, set in mind and they just chopped it up into two pieces and they're two halves of the same whole. My guess is that it should have been three pieces actually, but they are very close together. It's probably unusual that it came out on the same console, right? Like, it, it was made fairly quickly, whereas most games in a series take longer. Like, look, look at Nintendo games. There's, like, one Mario game per console now. It's kind of bullshit. Um, so it's, there's not that kind of jump, because it's on the same hardware as before. Why do you think they made the game forcibly backseat you to the degree that it does? So people don't get stuck, or... They wanted to have, like activity in the fights and they thought that would be a good way to have the characters talk i don't know it's it's a very strange decision someone said that horizon zero dawn does it too so maybe it's like legislated by sony in some way like i don't know how much how much uh, of the decision making on how the game functions um sony has like like the game has to have achievements right like that's non-negotiable like you're on our platform your game must have achievements so I wonder if it must be like your tutorials must be I like I can't I can't imagine that being legislated though that that sounds so wild to me that they would have that much power. They own the studio, so... Yeah, but... Like, Sony decides what goes on their platform, and if it doesn't pass their process, especially if it's a... Like, this is a big Four deal ahead. for Sony. This is a big game, you know? Like, they were... They must have been involved. At least, I imagine so. On your mark. I don't know, I'm talking on my ass, kinda. Maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> Where'd that guy go? Did I just delete him or did he? Oh, he fell down.
Ah, he was closer than I thought. I was gonna rage. Shit. Shit. I was gonna rage. So I think I see why they uh, nerfed runic attacks because you have 50% more runic attacks now with the spear. So you can cycle through all six of them and pretty much kill anything. So. On your mark. Yeah. Yeah. That sucks. Thirty-three percent more. No, it's fifty percent more. You had four, and now you have six, right? So it's half of four is two. You have two more. It's fifty percent more. Careful, brother. You're covered in five rod. Enemies to your left. <laughs> I am so surprised that you can do that before you hit the ground. Uh, wow. What improvements do you want to see in Elden Ring DLC over the base game? Is there going to be Elden Ring DLC? I don't know. I don't think that Elden Ring is... Um, like, I would want more ex things to explore. Because um, that's the part of the game that I really enjoyed the most. Uh, like, if they want to continue with the boss design that they're going for, which a lot of people seem to like, so I don't want to take it away from them, then I feel like you need to start making it so you can fucking dodge... For the first like quarter of the attack animation you know like like in Sekiro you can you can cancel an attack into a block uh very early on for the first like I don't know I don't know if it's a quarter of the animation maybe it's a tenth and I feel like you just need to have that if you're gonna have bosses like attack that relentlessly and shit then I feel like that's an easy fix but that's like a fundamental change now that's like is that got a place in the DLC like like I don't know like I don't really know what they, what they should do like, I'll play it, but I'm not, like, hella excited about it. I'm way more excited for, like, the next Bloodborne or next Sekiro or the next game they make like that, you know? People like the boss design of Eldering. I don't know if it's a vocal minority or if it's a majority that seem to, seem to really like the, uh the the change in boss design i like to change the in boss design in theory it's just that the the player tools aren't updated enough to do it and i really don't feel like the level of difficulty they went for is is uh is on purpose and some people have proposed that no it is and you're supposed to do all these little things to make it to make it tolerable i'm like no i just think that they they over designed the fights and they forgot to give uh proper additions to the player moveset on top of that like like look at how jumping is handled in the game jumping is like 
fucking busted when it comes to jumping over attacks. Like, you go from Sekiro with uh, their perilous warnings to this game where the game just doesn't tell you that when you jump, it just makes the bottom half of your hitbox not fucking active anymore, and that's all the protection you get. It's like, oh, okay, cool. So I jumped over this attack, and... And it visibly didn't hit me, but because part of the visuals like hit the bottom of my, my torso, it still means I took damage, even though I was in air above an earthquake ability. Okay, that sucks, you know what I mean? Like, looking at that and being like, no, the rest of the combat changes on the bosses are absolutely 100% designed and you just have to adjust for them. It's like, eh, I don't buy it, man. <sighs> Like, haven't they increased the swing time on, on heavy, slow, heavy weapons twice now in patches? Like, that that alone might make a lot of difference to me. I haven't replayed the game. If I replayed it now, I'd be like, oh, actually, a lot of the issues I had with it are, are gone now. Not all of them, but a lot of the issues are like, oh, I can, I can hit now. But I was using a fucking, like, just a basic-ass longsword for a lot of it, and I was still having issues. But I wasn't dual-wielding a longsword, so my damage is really low. Because, again, if you're not dual-wielding, you're not playing the game right. Just lots of things like that. This way. Oh, we're back here. Alas, we're on Neathog. It was in our way. Aye, I don't doubt it. Curious, though. What was she doing here? Odin used roots of the World Tree as part of his spell that kept me from leaving Midgard. Neathog protects the tree's roots, wherever they are. Ah, I see. Odin used her. And she unwittingly paid the price. Classic Odin. Elder Ring's boss design in late game basically killed the usability of Ultra Great Swords. And then a bunch of, uh, a bunch of, um boss names almost impossible with an ultra great sword yeah but that's not true though because have you considered your that you're supposed to use a, a throw a throwable consumable in order to bait out the one attack that you can punish safely didn't consider that did you sorry bro They're perfectly killable if you want to trade. Like, I did it. It was actually really easy. You can just trade them down. Which is, again, like, like oh, it's it's a perfectly well-designed combat system. And it's like, well, is it? Because, like, I can just DPS burst the boss down basically with my eyes closed. Like, it's... It's just not fun. The throwing up argument was just against your passivity ar argument. What argument? It's just a, it's just DMs I'm getting. Not that you can only punish one attack. Well, I'm exaggerating the issue clearly. You know, for fun, like we're on a stream. Like what I say in a stream should never be taken as seriously as what I say in a video. Clearly. That doesn't mean I get to say whatever I want and then la my o, but. You know, it's it's a different setting. Just make extra noise once the assault begins. If we distract them long enough, Hildespini and Atreus will have more than enough time to get in and out undetected. I am not worried for Atreus. He is ready to fight on his own. This is it. Oh, we need to summon the wolves again. Oh, convenient. It's right here. That's nice. There's an altar behind these vines. Wrong one. Call on Skull, please. Are you ready? I am. 
Are you? I'm not leaving here without my brother. It's no fun if the game's not acknowledging it. I mean, at least Elden Ring doesn't have a cutscene every one minute. Um, yeah, like, comparing Eldering and God of War Ragnarok is, is really stupid. But comparing them for Game of the Year is, is all fair. Like, what was your Game of the Year? Like, of course, that's, that's a fair thing. But, like, they're very different games. It's like if a horror movie and a comedy movie and a drama were all nominated for Best Picture. It's like, okay, that's, that's a fair thing. Like, which one was the Best Picture overall? But, like, saying, but comparing them directly in any other metric is kind of like, eh. Let's just talk about cinematography and shit. But even then, they'll have different goals. Alright, this looks like a boss. We're coming for you, Ingvi. Right now, I would give my game of the year to Elden Ring over Ragnarok, but we're not done with this yet. Completely giving away your position. <laughs> uh oh. What idiots! No. Oh. If it isn't Queen Mistletoe herself. Hilarious, by the way. Been a while. I'm dull. <laughs> and you must be the little half-breed's father. Lucky day! <laughs> you have a lot to answer for, Sunshine. You too, traitor. Better a traitor than Odin's lapdog. Hmm. <laughs> well, the burden is mine. I can help. You are needed elsewhere. He's right, you know. Sizzles wasn't looking so hot last I saw. <laughs> I know you didn't want this, but we know how this ends. See you soon. <laughs> He's like, oh, do you really? Okay, whatever. <laughs> the little little head tilt there, that was good. Well, we both know that's not true. <laughs> but don't worry, Frigg. I'll be coming for you and your brother as soon as I am finished here. No. What you got? So aggressive. So angry. Try him down, Rufover. With your reputation, I thought I would at least break a sweat. <laughs> What did Cool Tolfer ever do to you? Not going to lie, I'm disappointed. <laughs> oh, I didn't block in time. Both games are their person melee combat games. They're easily comparable. They're really not. Like, if you think that, that's great for you. Like, have fun comparing them. But they're not at all to me. Like, the difference of camera angle, the difference of exploration, you know, just the different feel of combat. Just the dodge rolls themselves. Like, they're very, very, very different. I think Sarka, I don't think it was actually. Come on. 
Oh, that sucks. I dodge that. Alright, so when he does that and the and the mount is a part of it, I have to dodge back when he's rushing forward i need to dodge to the side but that's not red so i think maybe i can parry that okay Okay, that hit him. Just gotta find the right opening! 
Wait, what? It though. What the fuck? I don't understand that move, man. Like, I'm dodging back and he just hits me anyway. It almost feels like it's like sliding Kratos into the attack because the, the game is like, no, 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 this is going to hit you and we need to make sure it matches up. That's so weird. Dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, so f just fuck me, I guess, all right? You strike like a sloppy cow. I Come on, brother. You hit him once. Just gotta find the right opening. You know, pain is not as bad as I remember. <laughs> there we are. Armor fit for a car. Slow down. You think you can bring down the Asgard? Hurry. Oh, he is mad now. What is going on in an empty human head? Oh, no, 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 no. You are going to spare me out of pity! <laughs> Let it go, you may live. Is this about the little runt? Oh, now I am definitely going to cut him! <laughs> <laughs> This is your final warning. I don't think a warning is going to cut it. You think you get to just walk away? No. There's teeth gold. That is not how this works. <laughs> I 
live on. You do not get to decide my fate. You are dead, sunshine. Oh man, all right. He's fast. How dare I try to try to shield bash after the fucking ones. You are in way over your head. My Don't you know who I am? I am the Watchman of the Aesir, the Herald of Ragnarok. You're the Juggernaut. <laughs> I am going to find that little mockerel of yours and beat his face into a pulp. Only one of us is walking away from this, and as sure as shit will not be you. Okay, I can parry that too, I think. Okay, what's the alternative? Just let him kill you?
way. Excuse me. Uh, I don't know if we are breaking fate or fate's breaking us. Come up and it's trophy earned. Alright, that fight was okay. There's a couple parts about it that are, eh. That's how I felt about a lot of fights so far. The slow, I feel like the slow down time thing, um, can fuck you if you just ho happen to hit the right move at the wrong time. And if that's what you're doing, then that's it. You're just done. You just can't, you just can't react in time. Um, I also am f noticing a trend of really inconsistent stuns when it comes to the shield slam. Sometimes I would interrupt his second attack and I would shield slam after it and he would get stunned and knocked away and other times he commits to it. So, seems very similar to the, the problem that was in 2018. Uh, that's going to be a motherfucker to test. I might not do that because that's going to be really, really tough to feel like, to figure out, okay, like, why is it sometimes I get the sun off and sometimes he's just going to hit me? Uh, I don't know. Like, But overall, it was kind of a cool fight. It was satisfying to finally, you know, fight the little shit after what everything you did in uh, Atreus' section. But it was alright. Is he actually dead? <laughs> All right, there we go. Oh no, Owl Father. The game is just bad, everything is just programmed badly. What is this hate boner some people have for the game? Like, I understand being like, all right, it's not game of the year for me, but like, like the, the calling the game bad is just bewildering to me. Someone in chat, maybe it was the same person I just read out. Someone in chat during that fight was said something like, I can't believe that some people consider this game to be good. It's like, what? At least the rescue's going well. That happened. <laughs> he might praise Fallout for its combat later on. Lol, hilarious. If, if that's to me, like, you think that this game and Fallout are on the same level in terms of their combat systems? What? What's going on, chat? <gasps> Console kids, maybe. Hmm, that's a blue. Shield strike! Yeah, so, guess what? You got hit by another ambush! We need to get him out of here. I'll cover him, but we can't get through the door. The trap! Oh, what the hell? Alright, go down. Go down. There you go. Perfect. 
can loot in combat now? Oh, I thought you were jumping over. God damn it. Oh, Frey, I'm sorry. All right, I'm coming. Plan on going longer. One more story beat and then we're done. I want to see the next like um, cinematic. Because there's no stream tomorrow. Oh, we died. How does the trace display will move second pair of crosses? Do you find do you find it fun? Uh, it was okay at first, but I feel like they didn't add. They need to add something to it. Uh, in um, oh fucking hell, where did they go? I can't even remember the name of it now. When you get Ingrid, you, that should have been a weapon that you got. Oh, sorry, dude. Asgard, when you went to Asgard. Wait, what? What? Damn it! Oh shit. Yeah, okay, that. Die, Jobu! Die, Jobu! the guy behind me man I keep getting distracted in this fight I should have called after the boss all 
All right, let's do the same thing again. Hopefully this time it works. Shut up, Freya. <laughs> Fuck, man. It like double taps. If you don't shield slant, if you don't parry it, that's it. Whoa, what the fuck? That felt like it, it felt like it parried. I hit the block button and then the game was like, nah, that's not a parry. Fuck you and just hit me. What the shit? There you go. Thank you. What's with the no telegraph fucking hammer butt attack? Okay, whatever. This enemy feels broken to me. I don't get it. I don't get it. Skill issue, possibly, yeah. Alright, that time it had telegraph. Where are the other guys? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Alright. I don't know what hit me. I don't know if the guy behind me hit me or if him jumping up from the bottom hit me. Oh, 
Yeah, deserved there. Deserved there. Deserved. Can't block right here. It wasn't red. It's yellow. His uh, his slam on the ground that makes the projectile go along the ground is is a yellow attack. I was spamming dodge the whole time there. Fucking wombo comboed. Holy shit. The whole time. Hold on, I need to ban a troll. One second. I think this is the guy that said I shouldn't live yesterday. One second. There you go. Alright, let's continue. Yeah, that's yellow, right? And I just blocked it and I still took damage. I should get knocked back. Is that a mislabeled red attack? Is because I had Bifrost on me? Yeah, no, no, that. That's yellow. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Um, yeah, so that's a mislabeled attack, right? die and oh maybe i killed him i kind of want to die and test him a little bit more this enemy feels completely fucking broken to me can we go the door's down can you move uh, i'm not sure but uh i can try no sit tight we'll figure something out we need to move i will carry you you what 
No, I can make it. You cannot. Ow, ow, ow! To me! Follow! We, uh, got company back here. Oh, now the boat can teleport, right? I know, I was thinking it too. It was kind of cool, I guess. A little different. The game's having a bit of fun. It go down? Okay. It it go down? This is bad. Hang on. It go down. Oh, it go up. <laughs> you should have seen your faces. <laughs> Relax. It's flying. We're flying. I knew it would do that. We have guests! May I see it? Oh. There's another one! I knew this was going too smoothly. Uh, little help? Uh, too fast! Look out! He's dead. Oh, our bond. Flashback time we play as this guy? Birger. Anyone but Birger. Damn, who called it that Birger was gonna die?
he's not going to be in God of War Ragnarok 2. Alright, are we going to paddle now? Can I move the ca- Oh, I can move the camera now. Okay, well... What was that? <laughs> Damn it, Peter Gunn. Ah, <laughs> 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 oh, come on. I really think that's the end of Birger. <laughs> I think he survived that. Who the fuck is Birger? Beast's feathers. You'll see. He. Uh, he has to be. We're almost there, Ingvi. Just hold on a bit longer. <laughs> I'm not losing the right direction. They were just all over the place, right? That was terrible! That was terrible! <laughs> God, I hope Birger's at the campfire. Lunda, we need cloth and boiling water. What's Red up, guys? And lamb's grass. I know, I know. You think I never staunch a bleeder before? Oh, now don't you go worrying, boss. I didn't go through any of your stuff while you was off being tortured. I hope when we kill Odin, we scream for Birger. for? I ain't the one who stuck you like a damn pig. For Ethan. Freya, mind giving her a hand? We're just. Taking over entirely? Hold still. She'll just get you stable so I can take you to Sindri's house. The rest of my herbs are there. We'll protect the realm in your absence. The four of us. It, <laughs> it will be hard without Birger. Alright, let's go around town and talk to every single person about Birger's heroic sacrifice. Oh, party at Sindri's house, huh? Whoever that is. Your boat. Nah, you nope. keep it. Your boat. Nice, thanks. Come on, take it. Sail the skies. Sun yourself on its bow. You look like you could use it. <laughs> Make a Vanier god proud. <laughs> Alright, the only way they could save this now is if we go to every single person and we have a really heartfelt talk about Birger, alright? And then we go into the and we go into the door, the portal door, and we're standing waiting for the loading, and it traces like, um, Dad and he's like, yes boy and she's like um who the fuck is Birger and Chris is like I don't know <laughs> <laughs> that's the only way they can save it <laughs> gave you his boat nice he left me no choice. He's dead. Because it was necessary, not because it was written. Oh, they both did something that was there. Oh, that's interesting. I like that. Nice, nice thing. I'm glad that's on the screen right now. Boy fired the arrow. Galahorn is the herald of Ragnarok. Whatever it does. I read about it in Odin's library. Supposedly it. Hold the dress. We will discuss in private. These people are in mourning. Birger. So Birger died, huh? He used to sit right here. How do you feel about that? I'm sorry, love. Birger was the one who found him. <laughs> Landed in the jungle when I was trying to find my way back here. Watched over me as I slept. I never thanked him. <laughs> if you want to. Thank him, don't get captured again. Promise. I promise, love. Good to see you again, Kratos. <laughs> Have you been back to Alfheim by any chance? Big Vir, now is not the time. All right. <laughs> Nearly forgot about that hidden sign to me mentioned. All right. Where's your, where's your, Partners, where's your Birger conversation? Hold on. What do we do now? Lay low. Birger would want that. Rest. <laughs> and then we continue the fight. The four of us? Five. Don't be in the dark. 
Helka ran off not long before your return. Oh no. We have to decide whether or not to abandon this camp. Its location may now be compromised. I was not followed. If I am sure of anything, I am sure of that. That was the line of dialogue. Heimdall is dead. Good. Is it? Look, I don't know from faith, but I know Heimdall was a prize-winning taint stain with a capital stank. If he was gonna hurt your boy, it's a good thing he ain't around no more. The Norns didn't quite see it that way. The opinion of them three shut-in spinsters ain't worth a goat fart in a hurricane. You did what you did. No need to fret about it. Hope you and your loin sprout ain't got any holes where you don't want them. We are fine. Oh, honey, you don't have to worry about him. Gave him a once over just as soon as Freyr was patched up and on his way. Did you now? Okay, you guys don't care about beer girl, all right? Okay. Then Bela, you could use your eyes in the sky. Find where their forces gathered. I'll check the perimeter traps and make sure they're still set. And when did Lord Freyr put you in charge? He didn't, and I don't want it. But when I have counsel to give, I can't help but give it. Love, he taught Lord Freyr everything he knows. That is good enough for me. I know. I'm just... tired. As are we all. Let us rest. For Birger. Oh, we're finding the dog. Helka smells something. Could be important. Maybe we should follow her. All right, I have to end it here. Okay, I thought we could get into the into the door and be like, "Who the fuck is Birger?" Where's Freya? Or some say Freyr. Maybe they're having a Freyr meeting. Alright. Let's save it. Oh, man. Please just follow the dog, then end it. It won't take long, I promise. <sighs> Fine. Tracks. Helcus. Where are you leading this girl? What the fuck is- dogs can't swim? What the fuck is this shit? So, what do you want to do now? We don't have to go straight home, do we? Look! Tracks from the olfactorily gifted hound. Seems we're on the right path. Hey girl, we're here! Guess we should follow her. Are we going the right way? More paw prints. Little slobber balls, quite the tracker. All right, I wonder where we're going. More of Helka's tracks. I dare say she's got as skilled a nose for hunting as you, brother. Hers is superior. The eyes can lie. The nose cannot. Does that make you wish you could turn into an animal every once in a while? No. No. And there she goes. Oh, 
Feels like my controller became unresponsive for a second after taking that hit. That was weird. Ah, went over that ridge. But we can't follow it at this time of Oh, night. I know what to do. Hold on, I know what to do. Where is it? It's over here. I know what to do. Won't take long, and he said. Just do it real quick. Wait, how did she get over it if we can't? Music every time. Flair, that's got to be beer girl. Stands up in the middle of a fucking combat scene. Does, no one knows who he is. Makes a heroic suicidal fucking sacrifice. Yeets himself off the boat with his axe to take down two wyverns. No one knows who the fuck he is. Doesn't die. <laughs> what? So this this is now like recalibrated itself now. <laughs> instead, instead of that being like, oh, like there's the climax of this scene with a cute with a cute little combat thing that didn't make sense already. Now that was just set up for a side quest. All right, cool. All right. Holy shit! What are they doing? All right, let's have a talk. Dad, who the fuck is Birger? How could Birger have survived a fall like that? Magic, perhaps. Let's make sure to ask once we've extricated him from this situation. Should be easy to find beer girl from up here. Why'd everyone sound so scared at this place? And on that note, Dragon Oh no, beer girl, do it again! <laughs> what the fuck? What about boy? Atreus! I'm fine! You? Hmm. Well, he seemed angry. What do you suppose that means? We are going the right way. Where are we anyway? Looks to be the ruins of a once thrive. Holy shit. Oh, there's no map here. Near settlement. What happened? Don't rightly know. More reason to find a way out. More reason to find a way out. Alright. That's it for me, everybody. I need I need to, I need to stop now. Okay. If you would like to know what happens to Birger, sure tune into the next stream to see the exciting conclusion of the Birger Chronicles. We're gonna, that's going to be on Thursday because there's no stream tomorrow, and the stream on Thursday might start a bit early, but, but we'll see. It's going to be a shorter stream, but still long for me, but that's it. That's it. Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh man, I'm not looking forward to the video now. I'm not looking forward to the video now. Oh no. Ah, oh, fuck.
Oh, fuck. Okay. Anyway, see you all later. Have a rest of your night.